Hello, greetings everyone, and welcome to uh, my first ever Dungeons & Dragons stream. I will be the Dungeon Master for today. My name is Joe Cat, and I'm joined with some wonderful people. And uh, yeah, let us delay no further and begin. Welcome, one and all, to the lustrous expanse where magic and monsters, taverns and tarasks, and yes, even dungeons and dragons are a reality. Today, I bring to you a simple tale of such wonders, where a small group of outstanding individuals use their might, their swiftness, their wits, and perhaps even their cunning to achieve amazing feats. Welcome to the Balconus Necro Hunt. Eighty years ago, a war was waged which ravaged the continent. Out of the ashes rose new peoples, lands, and laws, one specifically unique to the kingdom of Belkinus. All necromancy is illegal, for even a single powerful necromancer can raise an army and turn a city to ashes. Even the smallest incantation can be the seeds planted to grow a dangerous mage. Thus, it all must be cut at the roots. Unfortunately, some roots are too ingrained, and a fairly recent faction, a cult known as the Spine of Death, has become more and more of a presence in the kingdom. Once merely dismissed as innocent lunacy, followers of the Spine have grown in number and power, and as of today, have been bringing terror, death, destruction, and indoctrination. Not the least of which was a mere three days before when a devastating attack was made on the trade district of Belkinus proper. Many are dead, and many more are missing. In a hidden location known by very few high-ranking officials, the Viscount has hired a team of adventurers for a very secret mission. The circular room we find ourselves in is stuffy and dimly lit, with banners lining the seemingly endlessly tall stone walls, and a single large rug covers the tiled floor. In the center of the room, there is a variety of papers, maps, and documents atop a round table, where four individuals sit, uncertain of how they arrived there, but completely aware of why. Not a moment after they all realize where they are, a fifth figure appears seemingly out of the darkness, a military-dressed elven woman, Viscount Chandrel Miharian. And uh, this art was brought to you by my good friend Tactician Kate on Twitter. You can find her at Tactician Kate. She is wonderful. She stands proud uh, with a proud posture and stepping with purpose. She arrives at the table and brings forward her hands holding a small stack of documents. She flips through them until arriving at one and looks to the heavily scarred woman, barring two swords. Shelby, why don't you introduce yourself, what you do, and describe your character. Hello, uh, my name is Shelby. I'm from the channel. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I'm from the channel Whistle While You Work. It's a channel where I tell stories of my D&D adventures and draw whatever fun fantasy stuff comes to mind. And I am playing Luna Icewood, a fairly tall, uh, dark tan skinned woman with uh, uh, just a mess of wild blonde hair pulled up in a rough ponytail. As you said, I am covered in scars. Um, have and uh, have two long swords strapped to my back, one very standard and one made of a strange black metal with bird skulls on the cross guard. And I'm just looking, intrigued as to why I was summoned here. The Viscount flips through the papers and kind of like looking back and forth on the same page. I see here that your father fought in the war eighty years ago. That's correct. Records show him defying incredible odds. I would have liked to meet him. 
And though I believe little in blood being a factor in one's abilities, I would hope such a man would have a similarly resourceful offspring. And judging by your time in the peaks, I'd say you have some bragging rights of your own. Three yetis, she raises her eyebrows and tilts her head. I'd hope you had some help, otherwise I fear you may be undercharging me. Well, the first two I had some help, but the last one, that was me. Very good, and very impressive nonetheless. She smiles and looks over to the man sitting beside Luna, dressed in a long trench coat, a curvy brimmed hat, and a strange and with strange gear-like irises. Uh, Aaron, why don't you introduce yourself, what you do, and describe your character? Uh, hi, hello, my name is Aaron, I'm otherwise known as Yarshian. I am a voice actor and sound designer and creator of the online parody series known as How to Be an Adventurer. I am playing Enoch Solomon. I am a very skilled marksman and also engineer as well as a doctor. I'm, I'm also pretty keen on trying to help people in a lot of aspects while also using those exact same aspects to defend several different places. Using hmm. said equipment. How does your character look? He is uh, pretty tall, uh, being an individual. Uh, he has straight blonde, dirty blonde hair and uh, very copper color, as well as two irises that look like gears. And has a very unique breastplate while also keeping his visage as simple as possible with this very nice blue uh almost slightly gambeson like coat all right oh also my hat yes you do have a hat a very nice hat yeah the viscount looks over to enoch and her smile fades a little bit howdy she, she starts flipping through her papers i'll be forward with you mr solomon i am not very fond of vigilantism but it's not every day we have an inventor so accustomed to magic and beauty technology such that they can make functional limbs. And she looks over to your arm. Well, it's a very particular skill, and I do understand vigilanteism isn't well and appreciated, but when help's calling, you gotta go. Hmm. I guess I can respect some of that. And she leans in a little bit, almost to whisper, plus, that stunt you pulled with... May a Terrellin blend? I must admit, I've always wanted to see what his high house face sinking in like a scared tortoise would look like. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but that was still out of line. And I do hope that on this mission, you will be a fair bit less reckless, yes? And looking at the other individuals around the table, I will certainly try. She sighs in disappointment. And she turns the page, looking over the next candidate, a woman in fancy clothes and a liar by her side. Cammy, introduce yourself, what you do, and describe your character. Hey, you guys, what's up? This is Cammy Cat, and I am a, um, I guess, singer-songwriter. I do some D&D &D original stuff. I also sing covers and parodies over on my YouTube channel. You can find it at Cammy Cat. Um, and, you know, just... Do, basically, I do... A little bit of everything over there um and my character this lovely half-elf woman um basically dressed in what looks like if she could cover herself in all the colors of the rainbow she seems to have succeeded um in all these little bits and pieces and they all somehow remain cohesive as if it was a representation of her uh rene, ba rene bado is sitting very calmly and just Nodding as as she listens, keeping making sure that she's keeping eye contact and remaining attentive. Chandrel's expression when her eyes uh, drop on you, Renee, goes from a neutral sternness to a squint and a frown. Speaking of vigilantism, Miss Badeau, as much as I appreciate you now working under proper legal organization, I cannot ignore these black marks. There is no less than two new criminal factions in the capital city as a result of your espionage. She gently slaps the page with the back of her hand. Rene just continues to look at her, no response, keeping her face totally neutral. Hmm. 
but I cannot argue with results. Perhaps you can use some of that on this mission, under more restrictive measures. I will do what I can. Guess that will have to be good enough. She flips through her documents, and her expression turns to relief upon looking upon the final member, a man clad in a bright yellow garb and matching mage's hat. Davy, introduce yourself, what you do, and your character. Howdy, how's it going? My name's Davy Chappie, and I teach people how to play Dungeons & Dragons on the internet. Uh, you can find me at Davy Chappie. Uh, I also stream on Twitch, but that is less important. Uh, this evening, I am going to be playing Nathaniel Gainsby, a snake-like man wearing, as you said, a long overcoat and hat, both matching in yellow. I have spent uh, this time staring at the woman not looking over at any of the other people in the room with me. I understand why I am here. I am here because of my reputation. It precedes me, and I am going to respect it. She has a very gentle smile when she looks upon uh, Nathaniel. I hadn't expected the witch-taker to accept, accept my request himself. I'd assumed you would be too busy, but I thank you nonetheless. I am a fan of your work. On matters of... Magical importance. I find it pertinent to take a direct hand. Mm, indeed, and your exposing of the corrupt business heads in the capital have paid enormous dividends in gathering more information on this case. She looks over back over to Renee. Her smile dips a bit. I do hope that you can keep an eye on your colleague. It is my hope. She's proven to be very valuable in the field, and I believe that she is reformed. Of course... I will ensure that she obeys the rules to the letter. As you wish. Hearing that, Renee has a bit of a cheeky smile. She can't help it. <laughs> she cocks one eyebrow. Uh, I do not understand what you would require one for that one of my knights could not also provide. Still, it is good to have you aboard. Viscount Chandrel tosses the papers into the air, where they quickly vanish with a dim light. Her posture straightens and her shoulders lift an inch. Thank you all for coming. As a refresher, I have a very important quest for you. Three days previous, the Trade District suffered a devastating attack by none other than a necrotic cult known as the Spine of Death. After a moment, a map on the table gently floats atop of the other piles of paper. And let me just pull that up right quick. There we go. And this is the map of Belkinus. And uh, you may notice the hexagon pattern uh, grid on the map. Uh, you guys will be using this map to travel, and each hexagon designates a single day's worth of traveling. Mm. On, uh, That's good to know. Their leader which they refer to as the Black Vein Queen, is located outside of Belkina's borders, here in the town of Cloveway, and she pokes over in a little small drawing of a you know, few housings in the top right corner. Your mission is to travel there, capture her, and return her to the capital, and to me personally. I am giving you 14 days to do this. I wish we had more time, but the longer we wait, the stronger the cult grows and the more likely another ta attack will be made. She breathes in uneasily and lets out a long sigh. You may have heard rumors amongst the people that this Black Vein Queen is a particular person of interest. Though this conversation does not leave this room, I can confirm. She is indeed my dear sister, Kara Miharian. The Council and I have tried our best to hush these rumors for the sake of keeping the peace. I don't want mobs at my door making ridiculous claims that I'm in league with the Spine, nor do I want any overzealous patriots stomping over to Cloveway and sparking another war. So once you begin your journey, I do not know you. You have not spoken to me, and this quest does not exist. I don't want any breadcrumbs tracing this underhanded tactic back to me. Do I make myself clear? Crystal. Absolutely. If you wouldn't mind spelling out the name of the person for me. Here we go. I'm going to put it. Kara <laughs> Miharian. Yes. There we go. Throw it in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to pull out a note and I will write that down. She nods at everyone's confirmation. Good. And be careful. She has a way with her words. There's a reason the spine has accumulated such a large following. How so? Well, as you may have guessed, necromancy being illegal may have sparked a few people to feel as though they have to fight against the system. Some people feel as though it is their right to use necromancy with no worry about the cost to other people around them. You just see Luna getting visibly more pissed off. Now then, I have for each of you one banishing crystal. She uh, lifts her hand and you can see four uh, diamond-like crystals that seem to glow with a, a deep, dark blackness. And they gently float to each of you. You may add banishing crystal into your inventory. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> I will do that. If you can strike the target with it, it will withhold even the strongest of creatures. And is it, it is an extremely potent recreation of the banishment spell. Perhaps some of you are familiar. If by chance you capture the wrong target, merely crush the crystal with a significant amount of force and the captor will be released. This will also destroy the crystal, re re uh, rendering it useless. Her eyebrows start to narrow and she takes turns giving a, a piercing stare at each person. These were not cheap. I would assume not. And we'll make sure that they aren't wasted, yes? Very good. Renee is just like admiring how it looks in the light. <laughs> it uh, seems as though it like sucks in all light. Whenever you like hold it with like the candle just behind it, it's almost as if it's being sucked into a black hole. There's gears in my head turning about this magical item. You've given us four of these things. I understand that we're only hunting down one person, but is there something else that we might use them for? Perhaps. She takes a few steps forward and looks down. There is one more thing. As if the spine itself was not enough to deal with on their own, there is an escaped prisoner, a powerful warrior by the name of Thorn. That's T-H-O-R-N-E. They don an unmistakable suit of armor and bear a large axe. They are extremely dangerous and have been hunting down necromancers, and though I normally would appreciate such an act, they do not have the authoritative approval and are causing collateral damage in their wake. You may cross, cross paths. If you do, do not engage. But in the worst case scenario, perhaps the Banishing Crystals may help. We have been running tests. Unfortunately, for some reason, this thorn seems not immune, but less affected by it. It may buy you some time. To be clear, you're not looking for us to uh, capture thorn. If we see them, we are to, to ignore them. Indeed. But you have reason to believe that they are going to try to get into our way. Yes. I think it might be the other way around that we might be in their way. I assure you, it is not. This person might try to hijack our own investigation. Perhaps. I trust your judgment in dealing with that. Let's say that they do try to do such a thing. Are we to bring them to you, or...? Do you want us to bring them down? No. I will handle it. I have knights on duty of which their mission is to take care of Thorn. Yours is not. Any intervention you make may hinder our progress in bringing him in. I thank you for the clarification. To be fair, it would also waste a 14-day uh, curfew, yes? She, she tilts her head a bit. Yes, you do have a limited amount of time to do this, and although all I can do is recommend you don't pursue this Thorn... If you do, that is at your own cost. Well, I hope you understand, ma'am. If he approaches us and engages, well, we're only going to beat half. We're going to have to defend ourselves. As you wish. If he sees us as a, sees us in way of his mission, you know. I think that's a matter completely different than the current one on the table, though. I think that we will cross that bridge when it comes to it. It's a good thing to know that. It's good to know at least that there's a wild card. Lady Viscount, if I may be so bold. Go on. 
You've given us 14 days with the possibility of, of, of at least a 10 to, per se, 12 day travel. At least two days being the most amount of time that we can do this, but some curious about the matter. Why only 14 days? I told you, the longer we wait, the stronger the spine becomes, and the Black Vein Queen. Would you rather dilly-dally and wait for another attack to happen? I'd rather not. But this curiously enough, it does kind of irk me a bit, because not only are we having to drag ourselves there, but we also have to drag another person back. I understand with crystals that could potentially be very helpful, but... It could cause a scene on the way back. How can we assure that anybody might not be keeping a close eye on their so-called Black Vein Queen? I mean, if the crystals work the way that I... It sounds like they do. It seems like once it's used, you just hold on to it. it doesn't sound like we'll be carrying a body through the streets or anything. Indeed. And, Mr. Enoch, that is exactly why I have hired you and not one of my knights. I apologize for this, but... You are taking the fall for the, ki the betterment of the kingdom. No one will suspect much if some four random individuals are coming together, going on an adventure, causing a havoc. However, I guarantee you that when you complete this mission, I will ensure your safety. If we complete the mission. That is a very likely possibility. Uh, there's not going to be an if. There is no possibility of failure, but... Uh, in the interest of professionalism, say that we do overpass our time. You do not want them to get stronger, but this sounds more like a soft cap, and not something that is tantamount to the mission. I assume you're not telling us that after two weeks have passed to just abandon everything. Of course not. That would be ridiculous. If you do not, do not make it in time, I will simply cut your pay. Oh, fate worse than death, then. Well, I do not intend to fail this. If I may be bold once more, uh, even if we do manage to come back a little late, I need some sort of insurance policy. Very well. What do you propose? On my end, I can't speak for anybody else here, but on my end, I have two requests that I would like to have done in advance. And if I don't come back as a return for this policy, I will give you something I know this kingdom could definitely use. My weapon's designs. And what about them? I will release them to your hand should I not come back within 14 days. In return, my two requests get fulfilled. Speak them. First, I need a certain magical item that can hold a great capacity within itself. A bag of holding, if that is doable. And the second? Materials. Lots and lots of materials. May you specify? Steel, silver, gunpowder. Roll a persuasion check. First right. roll of the game. First roll uh, of the here game. we go. Come on. Here we go. You certainly are bold, Monsieur Enoch. Let's see. Uh, come on. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> what you, that what it will be is? a with so that close. it will be a three. <laughs> we love to see it. <laughs> All right, yeah. first roll of the game is a three. Nice. She Good she, Good she, Good she narrow she narrows her eyes a bit. I can provide you with some supplies, but not the ones that you seek. Those are some very important items, and I mean no offense by this, you are still strangers to me. But this is still a very important task, and after all, it is your sister. If anything, it might do to maybe throw him a bone. You may also roll a persuasion check, and this will be <laughs> the last one on this topic. That's fair. I was just sitting, almost sitting there going, hmm. <laughs> Please, Maybe I can help. <laughs> Please. Oh, oh 21. 21. Her face scrunches. 21. Her face scrunches a bit at the mention of her sister. Very well. 
I will provide you with some of the material in exchange for for your blueprints, which I very much appreciate, Mr. Enoch. However, I cannot provide to you with a bag of holding. What I can is an enchanted bag instead that can hold twice the normal weight of a normal bag. I hope that is enough to suffice. That'll do. Very well. She snaps her fingers and both immediately appear on the table. A bag just kind of flumps down and sinks into itself. And, uh, let's see, three silver bars and two steel bars. Perfect. I might have to what can I say except workshop. you're welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, so that bag uh, can hold up to twice your character's weight. However, it only it only it basically halves the uh, it halves the uh, heft load of uh, of that of any piece of equipment put in into it. Okay. However, it still needs to fit in there, so you can't bring like a keg of ale, obviously. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't have the convalidity of a bag of holding. Nope. It's a bag of holding a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> See, seeing that appear, Renee probably like leans back a little bit with her hands folded and like looks over with a curious eye at Nathaniel, like, hmm? You you may put I... you may put lightweight bag in your inventory, Enoch. Okay. My face betrays no emotion. <laughs> she just kinda like shimmies her shoulders a little bit as if she's like a little bit pleased with herself. <laughs> Well, if we're going after this black veined queen, do you have any more information about her besides the fact she's your sister? Hmm. She puts a hand up to her chin. She has been performing some rituals around the kingdom every now and then. If you could, I would like those stopped. I don't want any voodoo magic happening under my nose. I. She just kind of like... Uh, like leans a a hand back, and like you can hear like the jingling of chainmail and her swords. I think I'm perfectly equipped to take care of it if I'm given time. Very good. There are remnants of the cult roaming around amongst the people, hiding. So, if you could, either turn them in or cut them down. It does not matter to me. A smaller force is easier to deal with. If I take care of this, may I make a request in return then? Very well. My father's tomb was desecrated, and I'd like to see that it is rebuilt properly. She closes her eyes and looks down a bit, and uh, can she, she thinks for a moment. A noble request. I will do so. Gave everything for this country. And he will be remembered. He should be. And I, like, lean back with, like, a satisfied look. Any further questions? Or requests, as it were. Are we going to have any provisions or escort? Not in the personal nature, but more horses or carriage on our journey to the next town. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, there's none that I can provide. Recovering from the attack has made my supplies and forces spread too thin. I'm currently trying to take care of my people as best I can. I'm sure we'll think of something. If that's all, uh, Chandrell makes to uh, a quick claps, two quick claps with her hands, and a bright light starts to cover all your vision. The Viscount gathers the rest of her pages and seems to vanish back into the darkness, just as you are teleported to Belkinus proper. <gasps> ah! Well, this looks like shit. Yeah, it does. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, the, in the destructive sense, right? Yeah, yeah, in the destructive yeah, no, no, sense, we're like, oh. Yeah, no, no, I mean, the town looks, looks great. Oh, this, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> it's like, the beautiful beat art. Like, oh, God. The town looks awful. <laughs> so so right. this uh, this was made by uh, good pal artist Angel. Let me find her uh, Twitter at real quick. By the way, this art is sick so far. I'm already Isn't loving it? it, so. Yeah, it's, it's yes. all been very good. Yes, we love it. Uh, so, uh, Half Heart XI is her Twitter at, and she is a fantastic artist. She does, like, some really well-rendered shit. You should check her out. Thank you. 
All right. I'll be sure to clip that of you saying it looks like shit and send it to her. <laughs> no. <laughs> Out of context, everything Out I say is terrible. Context. Anyway. This is true. <laughs> so you, the flash of light uh, recedes from your vision and you find yourselves in a very dusty and worn down wooden building. There are shelves and display cases and wall mounts all over, all of them empty. The corner of the ceiling has been blown off and has sunlight seeping in, illuminating the dust within the building and littered all around the floor is debris. You are free to play. Right. Well, this is all nice and fine, but I have to make a quick stop at the church. What's for? Well, I need to get my tools. You've left your to tools at a church. Which one? <laughs> I I might think it'd be fancier just to show. Anybody want to come? Is there anywhere else that people need to go before we leave? No, no. I, I think so. I think that it would be wise for us to get supplies, food. Uh, I don't think that we're going to be able to afford a carriage, but if we have anything that could assist us as we travel through the woods, it would be helpful. Other than that, we can go to this church that you left your things at. Can I look around and see if there's anybody with a carriage that needs help with something? Yeah, you, you can. Like uh, if they're like doing like chores and stuff, and I happen to see that they have carriage next to them, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, I can you can give me a something. perception check if you would like. I'm down. Let's let's try. And I'll take your let's passive see. perception into account as well. Okay. Okay. Oh, My 20. passive is 13. Oh, wow, well, yeah. Good yeah. lord. Yes. Uh, when you open the door and look outside, you see various medium-sized buildings decorated, uh, decorating a fairly open kind of road, uh, presumably open so that carts and carriages and people can walk around while they do trade. Um, they're... Uh, up in the sky, you can see that there's some smoke and parked airships, as well as flying mounted creatures resting on rooftops with their reins tied down. Uh, it doesn't seem like anybody's going anywhere. Uh, there's a small amount of traffic on, uh, on the ground. Uh, you, as you may guess, are in the trade district, where creatures of all kinds and cultures come to sell their wares, stories, and whatever else they may have to offer to the other sides of the continent. Uh, you can see that there are various people kind of in your area. There is a goblin merchant that's kind of just sitting on a, a piece of cloth and is attempting to sell just like some trashy looking wares in front of them. Uh, there are people kind of going around talking with each other, trying to ignore the destruction that is that is trying to recover around them. There are guards picking up things. Uh, you see a few people desperately like running back and forth, asking questions that you, you can't quite hear from afar. Uh, there, you also see a griffin on the ground, kind of ground level, that is being tended to by a tabaxi. And, uh, yeah. I Various want to meet the goblin. To the griffin. <laughs> I want to go talk to the goblin. Goblin? stuff. Yeah. Okay, and then after well, that... Well, you have your church thing, yeah? Well, I... Oh, I, you're doing that and then I'm, the church. Okay. There's yeah. And I think, okay. Renee, you wanted to go look at the griffin? Afterwards? Me, myself, and I as the player, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So, we Listen, can do... we're gonna travel in style. We can do <laughs> goblin, and then we can do griffin afterwards. And then church. Okay. Sure. Sound good? Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. you guys head over to the goblin merchant. You can see that uh, it is it is a man. He is very downtrodden. And he's just looking at his wares in front of him, which are splayed out, and it just kind of looks like garbage. You see a broken sword. You see just like a tree branch that has lost all of its leaves. You no. see like a rock with googly eyes on it. <laughs> it's got a but, bad rock. But as you approach, uh, as you approach, the goblin like uh, picks up his attitude and he, he steps up, and uh, he he. Uh, starts to have a lot of energy. Hello! Welcome to Grickyak Shop. Grickyak come and sell things to tall folk, just like in Trade District, like other tall folk. You like wares? Yes, yes. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Brickyak. Uh, I, I'm just interested in what you probably might be having here. I like that broken sword. It's, uh, 
What kind of steel you got in that? Ah, yes, this, this broken sword make, uh, not broken, actually. It sword from great legend from long ago of man so strong he not need full sword, so he forged broken sword. Grikyak found it in very deep dungeon, and, uh, it have magical properties, and he holds it up to the sky with a great prowess. And, uh, a piece, a piece of its hilt kind of crumbles down. Ah, but... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> very powerful, uh, very powerful trinket, that sort. Yes, good. <laughs> Can I make an insight check to see if he's just lined? You may. Can I just let it be known that Shelby the player will die for this goblin right, here right now? <laughs> oh, oh, I, I'm, I'm about ready to as well, but... You know, I just need to make sure he ain't uh, he ain't trying to swindle me. Oh, he absolutely is. All right. Oh. With a five, God. you can oh tell my. that this goblin is really uh, wants he this this goblin really wants you to have not only his sword but all of his stock. He he is trying to sell you. He is excited that he has customers. <laughs> so, so from my jacket. I'll pull out three gold pieces. Oh, 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 you you see him, he looks taken aback and his eyes go wide. Oh, you will buy sword from Grikiak? I think that we could have a very interesting business proposition, my friend. And I kind of like pass one of the coins into my robot arm and begin to clink it along the metal. It's just like, now, I'm relatively sure I I enjoy some good old-fashioned bargaining. I have three coins here. And fortunately, I can't use them all right now, but I can assure you, and under my hand, I have the other two coins. I can give you these two for that there blade. <laughs> His hand starts to shake a little bit. Uh, make me a persuasion check. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Renee, meanwhile, is just like, cro- has her arms crossed, like, Natural watching t- this whole thing. Ah! Uh, dirty 20. So, a nice. dirty, 20. dirty 20. At this, at this proposal, Grikiak's hand starts to shake and tears start to form in his eyes, and he throws <gasps> oh! the, he throws the broken sword to the ground. Grikiak cannot accept! Grikiak's stock is junk! Necromancers took <gasps> everything and destroyed it! Grikiak does not deserve coin! Nicole Munz, as you say. No, 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 no. I, I pick up the blade, and I, I'll put it in the bag, and I pull his hand over, I put the two coins in his hand. Listen, I understand things are a little tough right now. I believe in you, Griff. Yeah, it, it, it's a little difficult, I get it, but I can assure you, a little coin can go a long way, my friend. You take care of yourself. He, he rubs the, the snot and tears from his face. <laughs> really? Really? Can I, like, kneel down to him, please? And just, yes, like, you may. Give, I want to, like, kneel down and, like, take a couple coins out of my bag. Uh, this ain't much. I, I know, but... Uh, listen, we're, we've all been hit by the necromancers pretty hard. So take this, get yourself back on your feet. All right, I'm gonna give him three gold. Aw, he he hesitantly takes it and you see his hands are shaking with all the coins as they jingle and he clasps it shut. Thank you, thank, Grikiak thanks you very much, tall folk. Here, you, you must, you must at least make purchase. Here, take this. And he hands you the tree branch. Used to be branch of powerful magic stick, but Necromancers use blight, suck all life from it. No longer useful, but maybe strong wizard can use. I'm, I'm gonna take it and put it on my belt. I'm sure this will be very useful for me in my future. Thank you. Grigak now starts to like shake the uh, the jingly gold pieces in his hand before putting it in his apron. Grigak will invest, make smart investments, find find good business that is rising up in Balkanus. Uh, thank you. Thank you, tall folk. Stay away from Necrocoin. Oh. It's a scam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Quick Yak knows. Quick, knock, yeah. Quick Yak not fall for that swindle again. 
<laughs> if someone tries to sell you the rights to an image, do not buy it. <laughs> it's probably stolen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want that no. on your hand. I can Quick, yeah, commission I true artist in. for work. Oh, and then that's that's uh, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. That's perfectly uh, fine. Uh, uh, uh. I'm loving Grick Yeah, That's yeah, good. you are wonderful, and I will have to find you again next time I'm in Belkness. <laughs> Thank you again, tall folk. And he starts to trot off, leaving the last uh, pieces of his junky wares, not even picking them up. Did he leave the, the rock with the googly eyes? He most certainly did. I want it. Oh, <laughs> I want it. Oh my god! I'm taking it. <laughs> you may add rock with googly eyes in your, in your inventory. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, it can be thrown as a bludgeoning weapon. Hey, oh, yeah. I, I can make it a, br a bludgeoning Shut weapon. It. Have you seen these guns? Mm. Watch this rock have like magic missile inside of it. This rock is going to be what what solves all of our problems, guys. You're gonna throw it at the main villain, and then they'll be knocked out. That'll that's perfect. Gonna... <laughs> yeah. Oh we'll god. Frick, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get advantage on deception check when we put it up. It's just like. Put a hat on top of it. It's like yes, perfect. They'll all fall for Just it. Just all of us in a trench coat with the rock on their head. Yeah. <laughs> all right. With that, uh, you guys have helped a little goblin merchant, and uh, you start to head towards the Griffin. You can see a tabaxi dressed in some very light uh, piloting wear, what seems like, uh, with uh, air goggles, kind of lifted above above on uh, his forehead, and he seems to be tending to a griffin. You can see that one of its wings is very damaged. Oh no. Oh. Baby. Um. Mm. Uh, so. I, 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 oh, I was gonna walk up, but no, it's you, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> um, Renee will, will walk up to the um, tabaxi and, and just say, um, hello. Um, he, I just, I could not help but notice you look like you've, you've been through something terrible. As you come close, he, you, it startles him a bit. Oh, uh, uh, good. Uh, please, if you could help my griffin. He is losing a lot of blood. I, I sent for the guards. They say they are going to get supplies, but I worry it may be too slow. Uh, please, is there anything you could do? Mm. She will take a look at the griffin and, um... Sort of like look over at Nathaniel, um, and just say, "Oh well, I can see what I can do, but I, I make no immediate promises just yet." Please, anything Let at all, see. even even just another hand, so that I may tend to the wound. Of course, of course. And so, what do you do? She will help. Um, how many spells do I got? I got, I got a decent amount of those. Those aren't too bad. Um. Nothing too flashy. Hearing that, uh, she will nod. Uh, first things first, I'm just going to try and see if I can help, like, bandage the wound at all. Okay, you can roll me a medi medicine check. Yeah. All right. Hey! Oh, the, yeah. to hey. the, tabaxi, yeah. the tabaxi kind of, like, holds pressure onto the wound while you wrap it up. And uh, while you do, the griffin kind of screeches out in pain a bit and kicking some of its hind legs. And the tabaxi goes to shush it. Shush. Yeah, would you like to assist? Yeah, yeah, I want to help just keep the beast sta like stationary. Yeah, you can give me an animal handling Easy for that. Easy beastie. Okay, oh, well, let's see. Two. Oh, no! <laughs> All right. It starts to- I was more to... meaning I would hold it down. <laughs> oh, hold it, hold it down? Okay, sorry, yeah. my, my bad. She if was trying like... to be nice. She was if, trying to be nice. If, if you would like, uh, we can replace that with a uh, athletics instead, just like kind of keeping sure. it firm and steady. Suplex but, uh, the bird. Do you just want me to reroll it? You may, right. yes, that is my mistake. It's all good, it's all good. I didn't say clearly what I wanted. That's an 11. All right, you try to hold the beast down, but it is strong, it's large, it's like four times your size, and it kind of lifts you up in the air, kind of th with you around its neck, kind of like rah, just squawking, and the the griffin, uh, tabaxi griffin tamer just uh, shouts out, Casey, Casey, down, calm down, it's okay. It's okay, they're come to help. And, I... uh, <laughs> After watching all of this, I'm gonna just walk up 
and I'm going to try and scritch it in its special spot. Okay, that, that sounds use... like an animal handling. Yeah, I was going to use uh, Lay on Hands. Oh, Lay on oh. Hands. That works. Uh, yeah, so our Healing Hands, I can... Oh, wait, Healing Hands or Lay on three. Hands? Uh, healing Hands, once per uh, rest as an action, touch a creature and restore three hit points. Aww. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do it as subtle. Kill the I'm, bird. It's diet lay on yeah. hands. That's what it is. I, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm I'm going to do it as subtly as I possibly can because I, I don't want people to see me do it. So I'm just okay, gonna you can give me a sleight of hand if you would like. Just to okay. make sure. All right. Oh Damn. You, just a, a swift motion as if you, you kind of like foe a dodge out of the way, but... Uh, close enough to where you can brush your hand against its feathers and a very dim light briefly appears and the the griffin stops and like tilts its head a little bit like cocks it and then slumps to the ground and then looks at its wing kind of pecks at it a little bit and then nudges its head at uh, at you Renee oh uh, this, and it, it starts it to, it starts to chirp a little bit and kind of play Aww. at your hair a bit. And Aww, the, Renee will pet. Pet, 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 pet. You, you pet. <laughs> so many pets. And it's clearly getting a little bit aggressive and uh, give me a strength saving throw. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was just <laughs> to Am I still oh, like no. arm around the griffin? Can I help her? In any uh, you most certainly pet. can if you'd like. Uh, 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 I have squished. Would that help just be giving? Her, would that help just be giving her advantage? Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're using the help action, so yeah, you may roll again, Renee. Yeah. Yay! Hopefully, it'll be better. It's better. <laughs> it's technically, it's better. Yeah, it's, it's technically better. better. I'll take it. The griffin starts to rub its head against you so aggressively and happily that it p pushes you to the ground and rests its chin on your torso and starts licking you. No, and just, just uh, like yeah. starfish, uh, like ah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the griffin tamer right. goes, bad, bad Casey, down, down, away. <laughs> Bye, large oversized bird. Uh, I am sorry. He, uh, the griffin lifts its head above above you, and you're able to get up. And the tabaxi <laughs> extends a hand to you, Renee. She will take it very gently. Thank you, thank you so much for helping my bird. We were unfortunately hit by one of the necromancers the other day, and though the um, wound has been a... fine up until now, I fear uh, we. I don't want to think about what would have happened for a moment longer. Well, are you no from Belkinus? Uh, I am not. I am from the northern region. My name is uh, Tassin. It is nice Tassin. to meet you. This it's wouldn't... very nice to meet you. Tassin. This wouldn't by chance happen to be a riding animal that could carry a group, would it? Oh, ho, ho, no. Casey is a mere, mere little bird from the nest. Isn't that right? And he kind of brushes the griffin's uh, neck a little bit. And it squawks. How old is she? Ah, oh, merely two winters. Oh, young oh, one. baby. <laughs> yes, but she is becoming big and strong now. And so, so strong. He grabs her, like, by both <laughs> cheeks and just rubs his head on, on the top of its beak. Mm, you are a strong girl for lasting this long. Again, I thank you. You know, I hear... Uh, I hear cauliflower is a very good... Uh, very good feed for for griffins. Oh, cauliflower, you say? Perhaps I can get that in the market. Uh, thank you. Here. And he hands over uh, a little pouch. Oh! Uh, these are... Renee will gladly take it. <laughs> those are some of her favorite berries. Now, of course, they are tasty in their own right. Most humanoids find it very delicious. They can only be found up in the north. I don't have much coin to spare, but at least I can bring in some of the things from no. my culture. No, by all means, I, I very much appreciate it. All right, you may you add can. Tassin's berries to your inventory. Tassin's berries. He said Damn, they were from. He said there were berries that uh, were in the north. 
Yeah. Could you could you see them through the bag? Like, or there was like the bag open and you could like see. I mean, I'll it. open it if you want to see the berries. I want to see yeah. if I can identify them. Here yeah. are the berries. Yeah. Here I you want are. to see if I can identify yeah. the berries. <laughs> yeah, you can give me a nature check if you would like. I, I open the bag for you. <laughs> Oh, I'm not great at this. But we'll try. 16. Yay, good right. roll. Finally. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You've heard of these berries. They're, they are Kenshire berries, uh, native to a kingdom right above Belkinus. Um, and it's mm. found in the plains. And if uh, concocted with uh, and heated in, a, in kind of a stew to a very high temperature, they can provide some very nice uh, kind of coordination properties, kind of like st strengthening your, your mind and senses. Mm, okay. Interesting. And I'll just like keeping that to myself right now. And there are one I'll dozen. Like... There are one dozen berries. Nice. Nice. Uh, I'm keeping that information to myself right now, but I just kind of like nod as I look in the bag and lean back a bit. After you guys are, are finished... You... Oh, no. Go on. Uh, I, was, I was just going to ask, are you planning to try and return home anytime soon? Oh, unfortunately, I can't. Uh, the guards, they mm. are keeping the city on lockdown, trying to take account of how many were killed and how many are left, how many are missing. Really fair. You may see, he points up, and you can see all the airships and mounts parked. None of us mm. are allowed to leave just yet. Mm. Feel like Sounds about fair. Just hang in there. It won't be much longer. Thank you again for the bellies. Thank you. Uh, I owe you more than I could possibly imagine. Oh, please. Don't even... Don't, don't, do not start with that, because then you will have to keep on owing people everything. Uh, she, she just pats his, ha pats his hands very gently. Oh. Like a very soft smile. At this, um, you can hear some distant clapping. Well done. Well done, adventurers. And you can kind of see a tiefling just, like, leaning against one of the uh, already burned buildings. And uh, you can see he's dressed in rags. And at this, the t uh, Tassin just scoffs and shakes his head. I hope to see you again soon. And uh, just kind of walks away with his griffin, who just kind of continues to uh, peck at its beak a little bit gently. Oh, baby. <laughs> I'm just staring at the tiefling, dude. I pay him no mind. You must be so happy to finally have some work. Bet you're glad that such a disaster could happen in the big city. If I didn't know any better, you might have wanted something like this to happen. Can I approach him? And you just may. <laughs> just Don't fucking... bother with him. No, oh. no, right. no, hold on. You want to say that again? Oh, I do. I do, I do want to say it very much so, that you, Lot, benefit out of the conflict and pain of the people, don't you? He's like against a wall, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I just want to like grab his collar and lift him up like two inches off the ground. Oh, it takes no effort whatsoever. This guy's <laughs> scrawny. Very, very much like Renee continues just over to the scene. Five cup she starts a fight. I would not take that bet. <laughs> and he, he, is right. I walk he over. starts to skitter and grasp at the wall, trying to find any leverage, but he's not making any headway. <laughs> if, uh, I'll, I'll have you know, I'm, over. I'll have you know, that's not why I'm here. And I simply was just trying to do a good deed. Uh, now, if you're so sad about your situation, I suggest you actually do something about it instead of sitting there crying at other people who are trying to help. And then I'm going to drop him and walk away. <laughs> And he, after you drop him, he immediately goes back to his poshness. Ah, my boy, soul puller could take you all on. Oh. Bet he's chased after those necromancers. Reckon he made them piss their pants more than you could ever. Oh, do you want to try it then? Yeah, he flinches. That's what I thought. <laughs> and I just walk back. You don't think I'm foolish enough to actually start a fight in the middle of the city, do you? Listen, it's I've only to... just met you, oh. and everything you have said is that, is that you will start fighting someone if necessary. I also Listen, just tend but... to like making people like that squirm. Hmm. Listen, people angry at their own situation, taking it out on everyone else. As far as I'm aware, I'd rather not be interacting with this sad 
people right now. They they all got their own problems. As far as I'm aware, he can complain all he likes, but it ain't gonna change none of this if we don't do anything quick. So, uh, my recommendation, maybe we should move fast before he starts calling his so-called buddies over. Oh, I'm not. Oh. I'm not worried about his buddies coming over. The poor guy almost pissed his pants as soon as I grabbed him. Oh, oh me my. neither. I just rather not get into no trouble. I think it would be pertinent for us to move quickly. I apologize for not pushing us along further. There was a strange white noise for the last two minutes. <laughs> just buzzing around in my head as I glance over at the... the... vagabond. <laughs> oh, you're right, let's well, get going. Okay. Right. I make my way. You guys start you, to head, uh, according to Enoch's directions, to a church. Enoch, what is the uh, religion that you worship? Uh, that you practice? Uh, I practice Erethus's, uh, uh religion, in which a lot of the themes are very gear-based and mm -hmm. innovation, law, as well as uh, uh, just basically understanding knowledge. All how right. far we can go with it. Yep. You approach, you head on in, and you are immediately greeted by a dwarf. Ah! Enoch! Praise the builders! What brings you in today? <laughs> Samuel, good to see you. Uh, well, I'm just here to pick up some stuff from the gearbox, if you ah, don't mind. What you need? Well, I need to get my tongs, the crucible, uh, various other little tools, as well as my, uh, as well as my, my bullet formers, is it's it's a it's a bit of a list, but luckily I got some stuff to carry with me. Hmm. By Aerith's name, that's a big that's a big order. You taking a long trip? You could say that. Not too far away from here. Ah, I see you got yourself some new friends too. You gonna introduce me? As I look towards uh, look towards the father here and uh, look b back at everyone. Um. Friends is a strong word. Oh. Working buddies. Ah, gotcha. He winks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, anyways, uh, this here is uh, Father Samuel Braxton. He is the head of the church around here. Um, he's relatively good for, uh, for the community. He's also um, very helpful and has gotten me off my feet on several different occasions, so uh, please excuse me while I go grab some equipment. I'll be right back. Yeah, so uh, what exactly are the pieces of equipment that you're looking for? So pretty much anything that helps me form my bullets, which is my, my crucible, my uh, and pretty much the, the little shot formers that pretty much make the start, as well as however much black powder I still have in the workshop. Okay. Uh, you may roll me just a straight up d20 for that. Straight up d20. Favorable Maybe. outcomes, please. 13. Okay. Hey. All right. Well, you are <laughs> able to grab your tinkerer's tools and it, a fair bit of gunpowder, enough to make a small explosive, perhaps, like a hand grenade. You do find that a lot of supplies are missing. As uh, of recently, there has been a surge in, you know, w uh, machinery, weapons, and all of that. And it has eaten into a lot of Samuel's uh, kind of blessings and stock and stuff. Yeah, and also replacing people's limbs is not an easy task. Nope, nope. But yeah, you, you managed to find a few supplies, yes. As he's off finding supplies, I'm going to look at uh, this priest, and considering we're currently standing in the middle of an empty room, I will hold my hand out. Nathaniel Gainsby, which take a wizard of Belkinus. Ah, oh, Erethus bless you. Samuel, it's nice to meet you. I heard of you, you know. You appear in the paper sometimes. A witch grabber, yeah? Witch taker, but yes. Hmm. Now, what exactly is taking witches? Well, during my actual profession is that of a thief taker. People come to me because their things have been stolen and I am set to find them. More importantly, sometimes those cases become magical in nature, and that is my specialty. 
Ergo, the Witch Taker. Hmm. Interesting. So does that mean... Ah, nah, I'm not gonna make that proposal. I'm sorry. If there's anything that you would need, you are free to bring it up. Well, he leans in and whispers, Between you and me, I feel like a couple of folk here in the neighborhood are doing some uneasy practice, if you get my drift. And I speak no ill of nobody. But, uh... Perhaps I could use a little bit of looking into, Mr. Witchtaker. If you are willing, if you are interested in uh, proposing a job to me, then I am going to need the proper information, and I am going to need it written down so that I can keep it formulated. If someone official were to come by, I need records. Hmm. No one official, unfortunately, but there's a. I've been doing some scouring about on my usual days, just walking the grounds. There's an old abandoned passageway underneath the city. Not many know about it, and I prefer to keep it that way. But I've been seeing a few suspicious folk walking through it. It's by the inner wall of the city. And what exactly makes them suspicious? I don't know. Whisperings, making sure, looking around that making sure that they're not being followed. The usual activity. Possibly just some hooligans, but... can never be too sure. Right, well, if I'm still in the city, then I can investigate it, but otherwise I'm going to have to pass it down the chain. Of course, if this were an official business, then I could make it a priority, but that would require the necessary paperwork. Unfortunately, it's not, but I understand. And he kind of, Quite. like, uh, taps on the wall a little bit. Hey, you good in there, Enoch? Yeah, yeah, just, uh, grabbing the last of everything. Uh, one sec. Oh, that boy. You know, I used to see him when we was, he was a little rascal. He was running around, that hat barely fit him. Was he still yes. just as bold as he apparently is now? Uh, maybe a little bit squeakier. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I walk out bless him. and... You know, walk out. You know, he used to wear these really funny. Oh, hey, not. <laughs> oh no, you did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, just so <laughs> threw me up. <laughs> Renee just like raises her hands up, like surrendering, like ah, listen. May the good builder Tell bless you, Enoch. Tell behind you, my back, as usual. I, I, I hope the, the blessings of the builder uh, were upon you and finding some of your supplies. Unfortunately, we had to use a few to, you know, pay a lot of the hey. officials were asking for more things to help with the recovering. Yeah, I mean, after a couple of surgeries as well, stock's getting real low, but make do. Of course. Any hoodle? We should be moseying on and me trying to avoid eye contact because I very much do uh, I try to avoid looking at Braxton's face for you can see, uh, various reasons. The rest of you see he's got a big shit-eating grin on his face. <clears throat> you take care, and may Arathus bless your builds. Yep. <clears throat> Leaves, <laughs> leaves as quickly as he could possibly get in. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, we're all following in. suit, unless... Uh, after Enoch leaves, I am going to turn back to the priest and I'll say, um, Enoch, his demeanor, how would you say that he behaves in a group? Does he play well with others? Oh, yeah, all the time. Well, maybe not all the time. You know, that boy, sometimes he could get quite stubborn when he wants to get something done for the betterment of others and sometimes at the cost of his own life. I've had to pull him out of some tough situations every now and then, but he means a good heart, for better or for worse. And is that how he lost his arm? I think that's better you ask him. I, I don't like to speak much of personal matters such as that. Very well. All right. We should... Get supplies and leave as soon as possible. Of course. Now, you keep that boy out of trouble. 
I will do my best. And I will turn and leave the church. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, Nathaniel, you now know that there is a uh, shady goings on and perhaps some, uh, yeah, shady, go- shady goings on in, this, in Balconus proper. Some mysterious figures kind of roaming the, um, the inside of the inner wall. Just to, okay, right. Anything, anyway, uh, is there anything else anyone wants to do before they leave the trade district? She might just, Renee just might make a small apology, just be like, I'm, I just thought the griffin might be able to actually take us somewhere. Just like a small snap of fingers, like, damn. <laughs> To like mainly to Nathaniel, but like basically like everyone could probably hear her say this because she's just like saying it out loud. She's just like ah. Oh, I imagine Luda's not paying any attention to you. She's looking around the shrine. <laughs> I yeah, walk back in as I forgot that I was supposed to leave a note. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're going uh, back inside? Did you not get everything that you needed? Uh, no, I forgot to give the father something. One sec, I walk you're back in. It's a little skittish. Yep. Uh, when you do, uh, I, you can hear him in the other room, just like reading, reading off some teachings to some uh, other folk. I am going to like go back inside. Okay. Um, are we just? I. All right, I have... I'll wait out here then. I'll wait with yeah. Luna. <laughs> just like, all right, the boys are it, going in and it, out. It, I can already tell they're going to be It ain't much of nothing. Hmm. It ain't much of nothing. Uh, I walk up to to Samuel. Um, listen, under the circumstances that I do not return within the next two weeks, and I hand him a letter, this is under the circumstances that I don't return. Mm -hmm. Follow those to the exact order. All my designs are to be handed to the Viscount. Understand? Are you sure about this, boy? If I don't make it back, this is going to be a very very important letter. You can see a frown on Samuel's face. Very well. But I'm not gonna be happy. Your hands are too good. I'm not happy about it either. Well, it's for the better of the kingdom. Alright, now get on out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to read these passages? Yeah. And he gives you a little warm smile. He does too, and he... Tilts his hat up and begins to walk out of the church, meeting with the rest of the group. All right, <clears throat> problem solved. Very good. Right. Oh. Shall we begin again then? I would think so. Your priest friend offered me uh, a uh, an unofficial job, but I don't know if I'm going to be following that lead, considering it wasn't an official inquiry. Well, we do have a greater matter at hand, so if uh, you feel Clairvoy's like doubling also... up, that's on you. Clairvoy's also a fair, fair distance away. So. Exactly. Maybe something my... fell when we get back? Yes. I am going to... Um, uh, Renee, if you would lead everyone else to the exit of this city so that we can get on our journey, I am going to make my way back to the office so that I can pass this down to a junior member of the business. She gives him, like, a very slight nod and says, be careful on your way to meet us. Of course. I have nothing to worry about. No one would dare target someone so brightly dressed. I know. Sometimes it hurts even my eyes. She just sort of, like, pokes his shoulder, like, (laughs) almost playfully so, but then, like, waves him off. Like, all right, my face betrays no emotion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just, and it's like such a normal occurrence, like doesn't even phase as Renee just like waves the other two like, all right, come on, you two. All right. Uh, I will say that after this one, uh, you guys will be heading out. So in the mm-hmm. meantime, while you three kind of start to head towards the exit of the inner wall and wait for Nathaniel. Nathaniel, you head to your uh, office building. Right. Uh, this doesn't need to be a whole scene. I'm no. g- just going back uh, so that I can write a note uh, so that the next person that comes in here, because this is a business, uh, mm-hmm. like it can be passed down to one of the not heads of the business right. uh, that, that somebody needs to investigate around there. Yes. 
And in the meantime, you guys start to head towards the gate of the inner wall. And you can see uh, right over here is your little marker to show where you are. And uh, you guys start to head outwards as the day starts to, the sun starts to dip. And with that, we're going to take a little bit of a break. We're gonna take a 10 minute break, uh, refill on your drinks, your snacks, use the bathroom, and we will be back. Don't go away. Another moon pie. <laughs> All right. There was an old farmer who lived on a dock. So, <laughs> you guys uh, start to head towards the the inner part of the inner wall. You can see that dotted line that is, you know, the the inner wall protecting kind of the capital from outside attack and you start to travel and the sun begins to set. Buildings become less and less dense as you approach the wall, but you do see the, the odd camping group or, or station caravan here and there along. Uh, and along the road, there are patrolling cavalries of guards bearing the same sigil as uh, Chandrel that you saw on the, on the banners. Uh, some guards breaking off from their group to bring supplies and support to the civilians currently stuck in the city and taking refuge. Uh, as you approach the wall gate, you're halted by a very young-looking human man and a tree folk, both guards dressed in, you know, guard uniforms. Uh, the human holds his spear very shakily. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. Since the Spine of Death attack, the gate's closed. Council wants to take census of everyone in case some of the necromancy tries to escape. Uh, until then, nobody in or out. Looking at the party, I... Don't find myself in a diplomatic uh, hmm. advantage, so. I will take a step forward. Hmm. I am the witch taker wizard on an official business. I need to find someone's lost dog outside of these walls. Please step aside. Give me a persuasion roll. This is li <laughs> I am lying to oh, this man. Oh, you're lying. Okay, deception. <laughs> That's a straight up lie. <laughs> that is true. That is a lie. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> we are lucky for this dog. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, God! Yes! Oh, my God. Yes! Ooh. We love to see it! A, a puppy? Oh. Uh. Uh. He looks over to his tree folk uh, partner who shakes his head uh, and looks down at you. But, but, but the puppy could be all alone and lost and cold and hungry. That's uh, the thing, it is not even dark yet. It's only going to get colder for the poor little thing. Can you imagine? imagine? There's, there's all manner of beasts out there that could take the poor thing. Just let us outside to find it. Come on, it's for a little girl. And most importantly, this is official business, so you would this not want also to be in trouble. True. Please, step aside. Yeah, sure, of course. And the tree folk steps in front of you instead. Official business from whom? As I said, I am the Witch Taker Wizard. This is a private inquiry. I am not at liberty to tell you information at, to a, er, I am not at liberty to tell information to a god. The tree folk squints his eyes. This will require a persuasion, I would say. Uh, eh. Nice! <laughs> we love to see it! <laughs> the tree folk squints his eyes. You can see the bark skin kind of like malform. And he steps aside. I'm watching you. Not for very long, I hope. You have to watch the gate. Please find that puppy! <laughs> yeah, we will. <laughs> we will, darling. All right. As we all walk by... <laughs> as uh -huh. we all walk by, I'm just doing finger guns. <laughs> my face betrays no emotion as I walk by them. <laughs> nice. I am on business. They are not my business. <laughs> <laughs> it is always a pleasure I'm... to watch you work, Nathaniel. I have to admit that was very clever. Awkward you... finger gunning out of sight. <laughs> you, you leave the wall, but as you do, you see people outside who are also camping around and a small uproar starts to happen amongst them. Oi, so uh, they're allowed to go through the gate, but we're not. What makes them so special? Oh, great. And another another pipes up. Uh, you see a woman. Yeah, yeah, how come you let them through? What are you, some kind of special royalty or something? Keep walking. 
It's because they're the adventurers on a very special mission, aren't they? Mm. Keep them, walking. Keep this walking. is the guard's Just business to deal with. One of them kind of throws a rock. Hey, I'm talking to you! And you may make a dexterity saving throw if you wish to dodge out of the way. Was it towards all um, of us? Nathaniel? All of us? All, all of you, because it was in your general direction. Oh, okay. Okay, I was going to say, oh, Renee Jesus might Christ. purposely step behind Nathaniel just in case, just to make sure it doesn't hit him. <laughs> I, I will continue walking. That, I yeah, have someone protecting sense. me. That right. makes sense. <laughs> God damn it. I'm going to get whacked. Okay. <laughs> Renee, <laughs> no. <laughs> small, Renee, this the is small fine. rock actually doesn't hit Renee, but hits Luna kind of in the back of the shoulder. I stop and I turn to see who threw it. You may make a perception check. Uh huh. I'm not good at that, so let's see. Four. <laughs> there is a crowd of angry people shouting at you, shouting at the gatekeepers, and just like almost causing a riot. It seems like it could rise at any moment. Renee will actually take uh, Luna's hand and try and like pull her gently along. Yeah, she'll 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 move, but she's just glaring daggers at that crowd. And in this really low light, her incredibly intense amber eyes just kinda seem to glow. How can do you... I make a perception check to Sorry? I, you can... I wanna know who threw the rock at me. Um alright, well, How densely be... populated is this crowd? This will be the uh, last perception check for this instance. Yeah. Okay. Well, it is a large crowd, and it is kind of hard to see. It seems like they're all like about to pick up things to throw at you, and like some of them threw things but didn't kind of make the distance. So it's hard mm -hmm. to tell who exactly threw, because a few of them are throwing things, just not all He's of them are I yet. want them to watch as I crush the rock in my metallic hand. Jesus. Make an intimidation. And then drop. Make an intimidation <laughs> at disadvantage. Okay. I... <laughs> yeah! Five! These people are very confident that I do not have fireball. <laughs> One guy oh flips gosh. you off. Uh, can I just, like, grab uh, Enoch's, like, shoulder and, like, kind of push him along? Listen, I really want to go down there and beat some ass, but I can't. So let's go before they actually start a riot. We're not if supposed right, to be fine, causing this fine. much trouble. If you yep. both... You're right, cause... you're right. <laughs> if you both feel your skin curl at every single angry thing said at you, it kind of worries me. Oh, no, it's, it's less about the... Uh, it's a the prince. angry things it's being said at me, it's the throwing things when I'm simply a person who walked down a path. They there don't is know very what is little di there's very di little it's difference to someone who is desperate, unfortunately. Uh, well, they're breaking the law. It's assault. Renee, that's uh, why I'm not going back there and hurting someone. I know these people are desperate. I know the man back there was desperate. That doesn't mean they have the right to treat others like this, and I can express that I'm angry. Doesn't mean I'm going to act on it. She is correct. Well, I think that it is a waste of energy. You are at liberty to do what you would like, so long as it does not interrupt our investigation. And it won't. Let's I go. I trust that. Let's go before these people stop following us. Just then, someone I starts following you. I was going to say, I expect that to happen anyway. <laughs> you you yeah. hear footsteps approaching you, and a drow woman is running towards you and stumbles a little bit. Uh, but she doesn't look angry. She kind of starts okay. waving her arms. Adventurers! Adventurers! Uh, please, you were inside the wall, yes? Briefly. Uh, did you see a kenku uh, with gray feathers and a scar on his beak? He goes by sharp dust. He is my husband. He went in there uh, during the trade three days ago, and he has not come back. I wanted to go inside to check on him, but they're not letting me in. Please, tell me you saw him, please. Uh, I saw uh, no such person. I'm sorry. They did not cross our path. I'm sorry. Her eyes. Insight. All right, you may insight that. <laughs> That's a good answer. That I didn't even think answer. to do that. <laughs> 17. Damn. Uh, her eyes are 
just seeping out of her head, and she, her legs looking like they are barely holding her up as soon as you say Aww. that, uh, as if she had lost, you know, a piece of herself, and she falls mm-hmm. to the ground and starts to weep. I walk over and I get down on her knee. I'm gonna let you on some grass. She bats your hand away. Just leave me be! <laughs> no, no, no. Please. You know. Try and talk to the guards and ask if you can go see a Samuel Braxton. He's the head of the church in Erethus. Give me a persuasion at disadvantage once again. She's a very upsetty woman. Eight. Yeah. She, she pushes you with all her might. It doesn't manage to push you down, but uh, she is using her entire weight. Get away from me! I, I, I know. What people I know. say about you is right. Adventurers don't care. And she gets up and kind of just walks off. Well, it seems that she has settled that for herself. Let's go. I get up and I just start walking in the direction we're supposed to go. No words. All right, you guys start to walk away from the inner wall, and night begins to fall. Do you guys want to make camp, or do you continue? I recommend we make camp. I would recommend that however we do that, we find a place that is more secluded. Undoubtedly, someone is going to try to follow us, and perhaps they aren't going to be looking for a husband. I would agree with Nathaniel. Let's try to find somewhere we can safely rest. Right, right. If you so wish, you all may make me a survival perception or nature check to find a safe spot. Oh my god, my rolls today. (laughs) I'll do a Persepi. Uh, Hey, look at that. Both Renee and Nathaniel, (laughs) you think like twins and are able Mm. to find a nice secluded spot away from the main road, uh, making sure that there's enough kind of line of sight so that you can catch anybody who tries to sneak up on you. Mm. We have. (laughs) It's a very common occurrence. You also spot, while you are looking and setting up camp, you spot something which um, Nathaniel, you would recognize with your studies, something illusory. Can't quite make it out, but something's fake. Uh, What am I looking what appears to be fake to me? Some kind of bits of flora in the distance. Maybe it's a tree. Maybe it's a bush. Maybe it's just some tall grass. Renee. Yes? I'm going to not point, but I'm going to look over. Like, I'm going to be staring directly at the thing that is apparently illusory, uh, illusory to mm-hmm. me. Uh, and I'm going to say, attack. Ah. <laughs> she just does a small nod and she will start sneaking over there. Okay, you may make me a stealth check if you would like. Oh boy! Eh. Nice. Hey, not bad, sneaky, not sneaky. Bad. It's like Very all of a sudden good. you see her like crouch down like an like, animal just. <laughs> <Goodbye>. <laughs> you dash from bush to bush and hide in the tallest grass that you can find and making sure that the moonlight doesn't catch you too much. It's still not quite nighttime, but the moon is rising a bit and, you know, rather not the moonlight, but the, the orange hue of the setting sun doesn't catch you. And mm. upon a further, further investigation, as you approach these illusory uh, bushes, you hear two voices bickering about something. Stop your whinging and keep picking. I just don't understand why berries are so important to raising the dead. They seem like a lot of hogwash <gasps> to me. Listen. Oh, no. <laughs> if you want to get in good favors with the Black Vein Queen or not. Oh. Uh, is oh. it just those two that I hear or is there more? You do hear two. Okay, I hear two. <laughs> and when when you get closer, I'm gonna keep your 17 from your perception. You can, Thank you. You can tell that these uh, these bushes, grasses, and small trees are clearly fake. Like you've seen this trick before. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, um, but I still can't see through the illusion myself. I can nope. just see that it is illusionary. And you can hear them. Um, yes. You're, you're able to do get I close know enough I, that you can hear them. 
Okay. Do I know if I stick my head through the illusion if it'll break it or if they'll know that I've gone through? Um, I guess you can make an arcana check to know yeah. if that's how that works. Just to see, just to see. Worst case, I have a horribly, amazing, horrible plan. Uh, you know <laughs> that the illusion will keep going unless they break concentration. Uh, which Fantastic. You can just, I want to look in and you, see how many exactly there are. You poke sneaky, your head sneaky. and you can see two, uh, you see a tiefling and a human. And they're both dressed in rags. And they see you poke your head in. And the tiefling goes. And I'm going to cast Shatter. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, show me the chat. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, listen, he said this attack. Ha- attack. This is happening. I did okay. do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a, just a sad shatter. All right. Uh, Let listen, it's a, it's a tiny, I'm tiny level right now. That's my second yeah, level. So here's the. I, I tiny level. Here's I'm the series level. of events that happens. You poke your head in. <laughs> the tiefling looks at you and notices your just your head. And he goes, Shit. And boom, a large explosion boom. crackles and launches them out. Their illusion is broken, and two people appear on the ground now as- beside you. Hello, hello, hello. Frick, Julius, grab your stuff. Can I, like, half draw one of my swords? Uh, and uh, we are going to... <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to bring us to a map. Little battle map. Ooh, ooh. Does anybody have <laughs> a map? Does anybody happen to know ooh. how the hell to do this? Do this. Okay. Every time I hear map me now. Just pretending to ooh. know. No. Oh, it's, uh, oh, this is very nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab you guys. Oh, explodes. sorry. I'm supposed to. I I have a reputation to keep up. This map looks like shit. Ah, right. <laughs> well, you know, you Love wouldn't it. be wrong because these assets I made back in 2017. So. Yeah, they're, so cool. they're very oh, cool. Nice I like them a lot. Yourself. They look nice. Old school. At the sound of the of that loud crack, Gun, gun was already one. drawn. Uh, I am my page. like I am. I have calmly stood up and I am striding towards where the issue is. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to draw my swords. <laughs> and you may roll for initiative. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so uh, who is casting sleep here? Me. You are all right. Because I'm at the top of the order. Oh God. Okay. This is funny. Oh God. <laughs> These poor fuckers don't stand a chance. They were just. They just got shattered, and now they're just gonna get, go to bed. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Nap. You may roll your sleep. You can click on the five d eight in the chat, and that okay. should roll it for you. Is that how that works? Oh. Yeah. Twenty four. Oh, it is. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, twenty four. So I didn't realize th- that's cool. With a twenty-four, uh, the human falls over, and uh, he 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 falls mid-sentence. He goes, "Come on, Julius, we gotta." <laughs> 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 yes. He is asleep. I love this spell. <laughs> oh, it's such a good spell. <laughs> now yeah. are the spine of death members. This one. Oh, wait. Uh-huh. Was there anything I, else you wanted I to do? Can I give bonus action bark inspiration? You most certainly can. Yeah! I'm giving inspiration to Nathaniel. Because <laughs> he's next in the order. Nathaniel, right. you are inspired. Just seeing everyone go sleep. Hello, hello. What do we have here? here Looks like I've got we a have little a little flag. Ah, bit good. of a problem. Hey. But <laughs> how do you inspire him? Is is my question. Mm-hmm. She basically just um, goes, well, well, well. Look at the little. What are you doing here, collecting these little things of yours? I think we might need a little bit of help over here to try and determine what it is exactly they are trying to do. <laughs> Am I right, mon ami? Just like <laughs> looking over at Nathaniel, kind of like a, she's, she's being very playful about him, just like a ha ha ha. I am gently walking over and I raise my arm up. I pull my glove down to tighten it. I give no response, but I am staring at the one that is still awake. <laughs> All right. Oh, dear. And she'll just step out of the way. Like she will purposely just like go over this way, oh, just to be out of the way bastards. of what's going on. Just. Uh-huh. The tiefling, seeing that everything's gone to shit, is going to disengage and run away. He Damn starts it. to run this way, 
and leaps into the little pond and vanishes. Oh, <laughs> shit. I, I blink. Oh? Well, we still have one of them. <laughs> this is the first thing that, like, has caused me any amount of, like, emotional or, like, like, like physical <laughs> confusion. I blink for a moment in surprise. I didn't expect that. And the human is asleep. Nathaniel, <laughs> your turn. Um... <laughs> they went into a pond. They did. <laughs> One, I wasn't two, expecting three, that. Three, four, five, six. I walk up. Let me check the range of one small thing. Sleep is a spell that's so good you might as well use it twice. Hey! I cast sleep. Hey! What? I will. I will. I will raise my hand forward and I will wave it across the pond. And if I can catch the mind of this tiefling, I will induce it into. Or I. I, I will. He's gonna drift it to calmly to sleep. Okay. And hopefully I will arrive afterwards before it drowns. Okay. But if it drowns, well, it that start, sucks, I guess. If it starts drowning, I'm pretty sure that'll take it out of sleep because now, of the that's way true. Does sleep anyone, works. Does anyone have a passive perception of 13 or more? Nope. I have 13. Uh, uh, I do. Hello. I have 14. Yes. 14. Yeah. Okay. You, you would have noticed that when he jumped into the lake, there was no splash. Oh, oh, it's a portal! In, oh, motherfucker! In that case, I, would I can I rescind my sleep if I would have seen that? I can. I'll spoil it for you. Your sleep will work. <gasps> yeah! Oh, because when you cast the sleep, you hear a thud <laughs> and a tumble, and oh my god, the pond was fake. <laughs> it was fake. It was oh fake god. water, guys. I don't oh trust god, this entire. I don't trust anything anymore. Fuck this. And with that, Me either. The initiative is over. Both of your targets are asleep. <laughs> Can, can, can I just throw rope, start tying up? Please. You most certainly can. So what exactly? Uh, I, I trust that this was for a good reason because you have let us know what you were doing. I'm sorry? Well, one, the path was illusionary, and two, when I decided to walk up a little bit more, they were happy to have a wonderful conversation about necromancy. Oh, is that so? Yes, please tie these criminals up. Renee, I don't know what is underneath this water, but I know that it is not more liquid. Please fetch the last one. And she will do so. Walking right in, no hesitation, just into the water. You walk oh in, and you... This could be a hole. Your this leg, hole. F like, falls into a hole and catches on something hard and firm, like metal. Hey. Oh. oh. And oh. when you when you kind of dip your head into the water, you can see that there is a ladder heading downwards, and you can see the tiefling at the bottom, about ten feet down, snoring. That's she hilarious. will pick him up and walk him back up. All right, yep. <laughs> like, climb back up, yep. Can I also I just... stick my head through the water, because I'm curious. Yep, you may. I, uh, uh, I'm a little curious. How far was that fall? Ten feet. Ten feet? He would still have taken damage if he had fallen asleep. That's right, he would have woken up. If you take, yeah. da if you take damage while under the sleep spell, it wakes you up. Um, That's true. Yep. That mm -hmm. is... You know what? That is true. To give, you a, to give you an out, if he had gone down the thing in the first place, he, and this is only a ten-foot drop, then he would be anywhere below ten feet and therefore would not have taken damage. Yeah, there we go. True. We'll say that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Do I see this weird hatch when I stick my head through the water? Yeah, not exactly a hatch, but a vertical tunnel. And I want to go in it. When you, yeah, a vertical tunnel with a ladder leading down. And when you stick your head in, uh, and Renee, you would notice this as well when you were down mm -hmm. there, that it smells awful. Yeah, I want to go down there. <sighs> well, I'll throw the rope at you guys, and I'm going down there. <laughs> Luna, I would not recommend immediately. And, and there she goes. But... As I am manhandling these two, I having them tied behind their having their arms tied behind them, uh, rather good knots. That way they don't get out very easily. And I will wait for them to wake up. Okay. What's anybody else doing in the meantime? Well, apparently Luna's going down the ladder. Linda's got her swords out and she's going down the hole. Yep. You <laughs> oh go down God. the hole and when you when you release off of the ladder and you step in something wet and smelly. 
on oh. a hard stone floor. And we will catch up with you <sighs> later. Oh, I don't like that. In the meantime, the rest of you three, what are you doing? You're, you're, are you also waiting for these two to wake up? Well. Luckily for you, this is the main part of our job. Mine, specifically, is interrogation, so... I raise my eyebrows at the click of the gun. (laughs) Some good cop, bad cop action. I holster it for now. I don't think I'm going to be needing something so... physical. Uh, Oh no, I don't think physicality is the best way to perform any form of interrogation. The moment that you start hurting them, they'll say anything to make it stop. Absolutely. I just want them to talk like we were old friends. Yes, if you leave this to the professional. And I, like, lower my hand onto the one that I cast on, and I will pull their consciousness back out into the forefront as I end the sleep spell. Howdy. Hmm. All right. Get it over with. Right. It seems that you've had a nasty fall. I wonder what you were doing out here in such a an open plain. Picking berries. Ah, yes, of course. And what else? He he cl- he just holds his lips tight. Hmm. Can I physically look for the berries that he's been picking? Yeah, it, it, you can easily see them where uh, Renee kind of just, like, found them. They're just on the ground. Okay. I, I, I put them in a pile next to him. These are some mighty fine berries. I can't imagine what you might be using them for. Soup? Hmm. And... My- my foot hovers over one of the berries and I stomp on it. No reaction. <laughs> he, 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 he cocks Talk one or eyebrow. I'll break your berries. <laughs> he cocks one eyebrow and looks at you in confusion. You wanna... You wanna go carve on the tree, too? No, it's just, uh... I can imagine how... Definitely useful if you were picking them all off or... Necromancy, step on another one. He he narrows his eyebrows and looks to another bush with another bunch of berries attached to it. Uh, Enoch, I can handle this a bit more simply. Uh, my friend, and I look back to the tiefling, my friend, I understand that you have done nothing wrong. You are in the wrong place at the wrong time. And we've heard things that are unfortunately uh, incriminative, uh, uh, incriminating. I want to help you, but I can't do that if you do not help me. Please. What Step on were you berry. actually doing here? You can give me a persuasion. A lot of those being rolled. Hmm. He sighs a bit. Well, I guess there's no reason not to tell you. Say, if I tell you this information, you let me go? Of course. I give him, this is for the very first time, like, instead of having a blank expression, I give him a very warm smile. All right. That's no skin off my back. It's my first day. We were supposed to be picking some berries, see, for a ritual. For the, uh, for the spine of death. You heard of them, yeah? Of course. See, I don't really know why. Some weird ritual that they have. I don't see why they couldn't just summon an undead, you know? People do it all the time. People don't need to lay down a big old chalkboard in order to cast magic missile, do they? Chalkboard? And where, where in the world would that be? He, he tilts his head over to where Luna went down. The abandoned sewers. There's a ritual being performed there. Yeah. By who? Well, who you guess? I couldn't. You're much smarter than I am. I, 
I wouldn't know. Ah, flatterer will get you nowhere. It's the spine of death. You know, guys who came here, blast the whole place. Right, but I, I was hoping more specifically. I crush all the berries under my butt, under my boot. <laughs> under your butt. I'm beginning to lose my patience. <laughs> Just sitting on the uh, berries. Oh no, uh, not the berries. <laughs> Wherever shall I find more? I don't think that you're going to get very far with the berry angle. That is very good information. It means that now there is cause to be concerned for our friend's disappearance. Enoch, could you do a very important favor and find Luna? Make sure that she isn't harmed. Sure. I wipe the bottom of my boot on the pant leg of this dude and walk away. Oh, come on, man. That's new. <laughs> Jesus. Christ, Enoch. You're crushing my berries, my friend. You're crushing my berries. Just as this, as you do walk off, Enoch, uh, the human starts to wake up as a minute has passed. <sighs> Julius, they're gonna... Oh, oh I see. Uh, mm. All right, well, I knew this would happen. Ah, you're finally awake. <laughs> Don't uh. don't say it. No. Hey you, you're finally do awake. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm going so to. Enoch and Renee. I, oh, you know, you, know, you were you were gonna go find Luna. Right, right, right. Uh, I'm gonna go find Luna. All right. <laughs> Renee just saw Luna go like, down there by herself and was like debating on whether or not to go, but then Enoch goes in. She's like, oh, okay. Like, Enoch, make this sure she canon. doesn't do anything stupid down there. Yeah. <laughs> no certainties. Oh, merda. Right. Sure, let's walk back over here. You are trying to cross the border, right? And it's... I would just like... <laughs> I would give you a disadvantage, but honestly, <laughs> the fact that that is true. And let's walk up this time. Uh, right. Unfortunately. Like to ban Davy. Unfortunately, my friend, it seems that your ally has already given up everything that. Uh, all of the information that could be given. He. Uh, wait, the tiefling is a man, right? The tief they're both are, men, yes. Okay. He is off the hook. He will be set free. But. I'm afraid I'm going to have to take you in for necromancy, and the charge might be quite severe. Uh, you see the tiefling pipe up a little bit. Whoa, 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 hey, c come on, he's, he's my buddy, he's my partner in crime. You can't take him. We gotta be, we gotta well, be together. But he has no information to give me. And I look at him, like, <laughs> so, so, like, sincerely. He, he kind of, the tiefling kind of elbows the human. Tell him about the thing. Uh, uh, well, they're they're performing a ritual, and um, they found uh, a body. Yes, a body of uh, of an ogre uh, from from the city. They've been using the uh, the sewers as travel. Yes, the sewers are abandoned, and they use illusions to cover them so that they can go in and out of the city whenever they want. Oh, Renee, did you get all of that? Yes. This is very good. You've both done a very good thing here. Thank you so much for telling us. Is there anything else? Uh, can you just make sure to never see us again and never mention us to... to blah. And he's about to finish, and then the tiefling elbows him again. Don't sing fucking... Oh, the, there's more. Mm, the, the tiefling stares daggers. We gotta tell him, man. My friend, I am doing everything that I can for you, but I cannot help you if you do not help yourself. It's really the only way to save yourselves at this point, because unfortunately you had the witness. There's a guy. The, the human continues, mm -hmm. and the tiefling's like, don't. He goes by, he goes by Bloodstride. Bloodstride. Tell me more about this Bloodstride. He's, he's kind of the boss around. He goes around recruiting people to join in, making sure that he grabbed us up, up you know? We're, we're down on our luck. Tra trade's been hard, man. Money's been hard to get by, and he offered us a job to join in. And of course, he's got, he's got this weird, freaky skull helmet too. Oh fuck! And 
Neither of you have performed any actual necromancy. Tiefling pipes right. up. First day. Of course. They promise to teach us, but, uh, you know, give and uh, take. Is that, real, is that really a practice you want to study? Practice split. Sorry. <laughs> uh, anything that puts food on the table. Uh, I'm going to, like, look at Renee for a moment. I won't turn my head away she from the tiefling, but I'll, I'll like, blink and turn my eyes. disgusted. Renee, if... Uh, do these people offend your sensibilities? What do you think? They I decided can. that bringing back the dead is something that they are willing to do. Just... The tiefling shrugs. Oh. <laughs> they ain't using their bodies no more. Hmm. I would suggest that you stop speaking for a moment. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's she gonna do? <laughs> Slap she me looks in the like next she's week. About to... She pulls out a uh, single silver coin. Oh. And Nathaniel has seen her do this enough, and he knows what she's got under, up her sleeve. And she's just like, I'm going, I'm going to put this down his back. I swear to all the gods, I will do it. Oh, no, a shiny a more... coin. What, what's it going to hmm. give me, the chills? I believe that these two have given us all of the information that we can get for now. The best thing to do would be uh, set them free, as they asked. And I'm going to, like, very calmly take my hand, take the palm of my hand, and put it up to the cheek of the tiefling. You have done a very good thing, and I appreciate your help. You will be rewarded. I cast Mind Sliver. Holy oh my God. shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna blow this man's brain out. Show me <laughs> Mind Sliver. Uh, mind Sliver is not a very powerful cantrip, but it does. I, I, they, there's nothing they can do to stop it because they'll just keep doing it until they're. I, my, my intention is to knock them out. But mm -hmm. if I can't knock them out, then I am just going to keep doing this until it seems like they can't take anymore and then hit them over the head. You consistently mind sliver them until they're knocked unconscious. Specifically the first one. This one, while he's still awake, I want to do something with just ah, okay. very quickly so that we don't take up too much time. You can see. So after this one's knocked yeah, out. The human is kind of a little shaky. Actually, it was because you spoke up that I am not as... I didn't have to resort to such measures. You see, the tiefling was tight-lipped. There's nothing else that we need from you, right? He, Nothing he looks us? down for a bit. Uh, there's a, a child. Part of the ritual required ch a child. And uh, uh, I didn't much Renee's like... face just I didn't much drops. like that, but... Uh, the, 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 the boss, uh, Bloodstride, he insisted that we needed one. She's down there. My... <laughs> my, uh... Like, my, 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 like, initially, like, when I talk to this guy, my demeanor is trying to be very comforting and on their side. But when he says this, I immediately revert back to the, like, to my normal state of betraying absolutely no emotion, a blank stare at him. I, I'm going to have to knock you out for now. We will come back for you and decide what must be done. Thank you for your help, I say as I reach over and mind sliver. Uh, yeah, any time. Ah! And then he falls over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> unconscious as well. They're tied up and unconscious. <clears throat> we will deal with their bodies later. Let's go find our friends Whoop. and save this child. Yep, Renee is like immediately on. Like as soon as hearing like, let's go, she's like off. Okay. Uh, how far are me and Luna? We're, We're about to, get to find this, out. Uh, you guys so. have as much fun as you would like. I know we just yeah. took up a bunch of time. We did. <laughs> yeah. You're good. So you're we're going to go in order. So Luna, you're the first one down. Uh, you drop down and immediately step into some sewage water. It smells god awful in here. Uh, the pungent stench kind of fills your lungs as you immediately as you climb down and you can see that there are drains there are uh, remains of old dead humanoids down here as well and there are several paths that you can take 
following okay. moments behind you, uh, Enoch drops down a few moments later. After, when he drops down, he'd see that I have both swords drawn and I am very <laughs> carefully stepping. She <laughs> That is oh so nasty. Because... You know how you know how many of them are down here? I'm I'm like I'm not threatening, but I'm like pointing the tip of one of my swords in like his general direction. You don't know how many people are down here and you come here down like that? I'm not like that. We haven't been making noise before. I, I, you know, after you did, you hear the echoing of she, she, she echo throughout all the halls. <laughs> yes, my point exactly. Um, and I would like to start seeing if I can find a path that's been traversed recently. Okay. Uh, before we do, I wanted to say the music uh, here is courtesy of the Music Reborn. Uh, who is also the composer for the Crap Guide theme. Hey! And, uh, yeah, I'm glad to have them aboard to make, uh, recreate the soundtrack, uh, that I originally made for this game, but could use some remastering, therefore they, they were able to help me with this. So, yes, if you would like, you can give me a little perception to see if there's any, perhaps, remnants of paths once uh, traveled. I wish I was good at perception, but let's go! Ten. Okay. You look around and the Ten. place the place is kind of really run down, rusted. You can tell that uh, this place has not been used. There is no flowing water at all. Uh, and any possible footsteps would have probably just been covered up in all of the, mm. the grime of the area. Well, is it dark down here? It is very dimly lit. Okay. Well, uh, dark vision is an awesome thing. It um, is. It, I want to start cool. looking down hallways then. I'm not paying any attention to the fact that Enoch is there. I'm in, um, I'm in like a, I look like a predator on the prowl. Okay. I'm just kind of slinking around. I will say to the north, you can see very, very distantly some figures. Can't really tell what they are. To the left, you see the same uh, kind of distant figures and to the right you see close by figures something something of kind of knee height large and kind of crawling around the ground you also hear rushing water to the right i want to start going north i guess all right and once you do the other two finally catch up with you draw out the gun and you guys arrive and the same stench fills your noses Renee and Nathaniel. Yep. So you're going to start going uh, north, Luna? Yep. I'm creeping along, sneaking. Okay. You head north, and you can see uh, those little lined squares, by the way. Those are drains. Gotcha. And the kind of blue spots, I'm going to let you guys know now, if combat starts in here, those blue spots are difficult to rain. However... So they do take twice your movement. However, if you wish to use your full movement for each square, you need to make a dexterity saving throw or be fall or fall prone from slipping. Mm. Uh, how you can tell if the square is covered in this water is if it takes a majority of the square. So if it's like halfway, like this one, it's not covered. Uh, gotcha. If it's like this one, where you know, if it's in the corner, it's not covered. If it, you know, it has to cover a majority of the square. Gotcha. So yep, you head up north and- I'm sneaking specifically. I am yeah. being quiet. You can give me a stealth check if you would like. Okay. I, oh, uh, well, I have disadvantage on these, but uh, I have proficiency because chainmail. Nice. All 13. right. You are handily able to move fairly quietly, softening the jingles of your chainmail. Cool. I'm going to keep my back to the walls in every room, just kind of using each and every advantage I can. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you may roll stealth as well if you're trying to be stealthy. I would gesture to kind of stay a couple feet back from me 
so we don't have a bunch of heads poking around the corner. Very nice. As you approach over there, you do see down this hallway, uh, this hallway, and this hallway. Oh, great. And you can see that there are a few sewer rats, kind of- It's Marshall! <laughs> Kind of gnawing at some bones and some little bits of meat. They are malformed and overgrown and horribly diseased. This one just kind of hisses at you guys at approaching, <laughs> but kind of like backing away. I put the gun away. I pull out the rapier instead. I want to kind of shimmy along this wall. Okay. Your footsteps, you try to muffle. Uh, they're very gently splashing into the water. Yeah, and I know that this has, this is, you know, slippery territory here. It is, but I'm you're just... moving carefully, so. Yeah. And as you approach over there, you get to see down this hallway. Yup. And uh, Renee and Nathaniel, are you guys doing anything? Uh, right, I wanted to give them as much opportunity to do stuff outside of us as possible. Yeah, because we, took, we took our sweet time interrogating, so. Yeah, yeah. right, right. Uh, yeah. With that, what can I see along these sides? Uh, so, along these sides, let me see what are behind those. Um, you see that down to the left path, very, very distantly, there are two figures. Um, and down to the right, a lot closer, very similar uh, sized figures, and two paths kind of going upwards. Figures. Can I roll perception to see what kind they are? Just you most certainly can. shapes. Yep. You see, they're low to the ground. They seem to be quadrupedal. And uh, they don't seem to pay you much mind. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to reveal this one because it's close enough. Um, boop, 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 with that perception. You see that down here... Uh, oh, where's the other... There's supposed to be another rat. Uh, there's a rat over here. Rat. Rat. Are they meant We're to be the rats. rats? That's what I was gonna get! I didn't want to do it, but you didn't want to do it! I was glad! You see, you also see a dead sewer rat kind of laying with <gasps> its stomach like up Ooh. to the ceiling and its ribs malformly extended out as if they bursted from the inside. Oh, you also, oh you. gross! You also no. see a pipe Ugh. that is rushing just some really gooey thick water down, just. <laughs> And it is it is slowly draining as well. I am going to cautiously step over here, and I'm going to look at this that this crime scene. <laughs> the rat backs I, away and hisses at you. <laughs> I'm uninterested in the rat. Uh, he is so so. I, I I look at this crime scene. I've seen many different crime scenes in my time. Uh, I'd like to roll investigation to see if I can't discern. I have a theory. Mm -hmm. Uh, my current theory that I will relay to Renee, unless I, uh, unless go I ahead. can come up with something better, um, mm -hmm. as I step forward. That rat appears to have been killed from the inside out. Not that something has eaten it, but that something burst from it. Do you think it was a test? I believe that the water here is not as clean as you might think. Mm. I Perhaps it is an ooze of some sort. Drank by the rat, and then burst out. Can I roll an investigation to see if I might be right? You almost or certainly can. Hey. We only roll 20s in this house. <laughs> Taking a closer look at the water, right. and although it is nothing anything should ever drink, there's no in further properties from it. Mm -hmm. But um, knowing what you know, with that high of a perception, this was a failed raising. Oh. I was right! Oh. Oh, fuck! You can oh, see the, the, the skeletal form <gasps> inside the rat tried to form into something, but something oh. went horribly wrong, and it burst instead. Oh, mm. no! I hate being right! <laughs> Those are some fucked visuals. <laughs> as, much as, I, as much as I enjoy covering as much ground as possible, we should meet with the others. There's too much information that we know that they need to. Ch Renee will nod and say, I agree. Especially from the look in one of... The fact that... She's just like, the fact that one of... That Luna just went down here, I just... I don't understand! <laughs> huh. 
I'm gonna start making but, moves yeah. up towards the uh, the northwest here. Yeah, okay. I wanted to go uh, to the southwest. Yeah. Let's pause here. Yeah. Just yeah. imagine me, me and Enoch stuff. just kind of look at each other, look at the paths, give a nod, and yeah, <laughs> pick one. <laughs> As you do, yeah. I'm gonna need everybody to roll some initiative because when oh, you no. Enoch and Luna, when you take step into that room. The two piles no. of bones start to form. <gasps> no! Oh no! Oh no, I only got All eight. Right. And they turn into <laughs> this was not my initiative this time. That was two almost... Skeleton warriors <laughs> appear. Da, 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 da. Why do I keep rolling so low? <laughs> da, 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 oh my god, finally! Skeleton warriors! <laughs> Luna, you're up first. You are approached okay. by a skeleton who wields uh, some a very rusted and worn down scimitar. What do you do? It's a beautiful day outside. So I, I already had my swords drawn and I was just kind of watching. So as uh, walking like carefully, so as this thing raised up, I just imagined I was like, oh, hello there. And uh, I'm just immediately going at it. <laughs> okay, okay. Hello there. <laughs> uh, absolution, let's go. That's a nine. <laughs> that is a nine. You go, you go to take a swipe, and it parries your blow with its scimitar. You chip away some of the rusted blade, but don't make any headway. Oh, you're going to be like that, huh? Hey, Enoch, you want to see why they call me a ghost? And I want to use my bonus action to call forth my echo. Oh. Ooh. So I don't, I don't have a token for this, unfortunately. Uh, Ooh. It's, it's okay. Um, I would like to describe my echo, though. Yes, go ahead. Uh... As I, I kind of give you that cheeky remark, uh, if you look back, you will see my shadow elongating. Ooh. And uh, appearing right about here, because it can appear within 15 feet of me, is a hulking <gasps> figure of a, uh, a, a humanoid man uh, wearing a breastplate, wielding the same interesting sword with the bird skulls on the cross guard, and a cloak of black feathers. His face is in shadows. And I think I want to unleash incarnation on this guy and uh, take uh, this and have my echo make an attack. All right, show me the attack. Uh huh. Absolution once more. Do better. Twenty three right. bitches. While it parries yeah. your first blow, Damn. it leaves it completely open to the second and crack. Show me the damage. You Seven. cut off a big chunk of bone that falls to the ground and rattles. <laughs> Any further movement you would like to make? Nope. I, I should note, though, that my sheet is lying um, because when I don't have my swords out, my AC is a 16, but because I have both out, it's a 17. So nice. remember that. All right. I'll try to keep that in mind. Nathaniel, you hear this racket happening. Uh, not knowing exactly what the problem is, I'm going to like pick up the pace and start running towards them. So mm -hmm. eh. When you start to run over this, great. I'm going to need you to make a deck save. <gasps> Understood. <laughs> What? It was slimes the whole time. It was <laughs> slimes! Oh god, oh, what no! happens? Oh, you... no! <laughs> Jesus! <gasps> you run over the grate and immediately your leg is snagged by something soft and gelatinous. Oh, I knew it was slimes! <laughs> you you were all lying. laughed at me! But it was slimes the whole time! Your movement, the sewer, of your course, movement has, has been here. halted, but you still have both Just... your actions. Okay, oh, so I look down and I see that. Mm -hmm. Does you it can... seem to be a slime wrapping itself around my leg? Not only does it seem to be a slime, it seems to be a gelatinous cube coming out from the floor. <gasps> oh, Jesus, no! no! That's no! bad! No! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, no! I'm, uh, as it, like, so I was running forward. Currently, I believe that the other two are in danger, so I don't have time to, like, maintain any composure. I will... Lower my like I'll lower my glasses and look at this giant mess that's coming out from the grate, and I will point my hand at it outstretched. Return back to the depths, and I will cast Disney Whisper. I'm gonna do an accurate size. Ooh. There we go. Oh god, I hate it. <laughs> oh god, that's a huge cube too. I hate it. Dissonant whispers. I cast Dissonant whispers. Dissonant whispers. Okay. Real sad Dissonant whispers damage. And must immediately use a reaction to move far away. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's see. 
Go back down the hole. Go back down the hole. Ah, oh, God, Nathaniel's the scariest person here. I love it's it. It's a cube. I love it. It's a lattice Nathaniel. cube. They don't have high wisdom, right? Right? <laughs> I don't I, know. Do they even have brains? They don't have high wisdom. You're right, because it failed. Yay! Yay! And it, it seeps back into the grate. <laughs> so Understood. I'm just going to make it vanish for now. However, mm. your movement still has been halted, but you are able to fend off the cube. I'm going to look back at Renee, and I'm going to hold my like my thumb and forefinger out to her as I reach into her mind and uh, give her the inspiration she needs. Go, find <gasps> All right, Renee, you yes! are inspired. Yes, I'm inspired. Thank you. All right, next are the skeleton warriors. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this skeleton warrior uh, is going to... Just take a straight slash at you, uh, Luna. Yep. So Ooh, it just, yeah, it just breaks that. And it takes a slice uh. out of you. You take four slashing damage as it starts okay. to rattle. Cool. That's not too bad. And this one is going to leap at you, Enoch, and is going to attempt to grapple you. I'm going to need you to make a uh, opposing athletics check. Or acrobatics? Or acrobatics, that's true. Yes, you're right. Okay. In order to dodge out of the way. 17. Let's see. Yep, it's enough. You manage to uh, get out of the way, and it just kind of bashes into the wall and continues to rattle. But you do not get grappled. Uh, as this dude hits the wall after taking a sidestep, I pull out objection and I put it towards the base of the skull, I'm going to use my grit point for a dead eye shot, which pretty much doesn't give me disadvantage because of the range, but it doesn't give me advantage because of the range. Okay. <laughs> so it's a straight roll. All right. Show me the gun. Oh, boy. That's okay. a 22. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Oh my God. That's a 22. Oh my God. That's a 22. That's a 22. Just, uh, here, let me scroll up to show the chat. That's a 22. Yeah, that's good. We don't need Dang. to see all of that. That's just rules of... Um, let's yeah. see. Hold on. Expl uh, you're just doing a, a normal uh, fire, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, it just has all that information just in case. For the various different types one. of attacks. Yeah. Yeah. As they if say I roll in, a one, there's a problem. As they say in Underwatch, it's midnight. You fire your pistol, and a loud bang rings and echoes throughout all the halls. And smoke kind of covers your face a little bit at the firing of your your flintlock and oh, into like the that. skeleton. Uh, it is a pistol pistol, which means after that round is... After that round, it turns the cylinder to its next shot. That's pretty much it. I All just right. put Renee. a bullet in turn. the back Hello. of this thing's head. Now it's your um, turn. I have a speed of 30 feet, so I am going to uh, listen to what I have been told, and I'm going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So that was my 30 feet, so I'm, I'm imagining I can see this thing oh, now. Oh, yeah, you can see it. You can see that Luna cool. has duplicated herself, and uh, it's fighting ah. a skeleton. So she just goes, ah, a light. Rather not duplicated um, herself, but has a shadowy figure and that is next to her, yeah. Uh, I will cast True Strike. Nice. And uh, yeah, this is the homebrew True Strike. This who, is the homebrew, who yeah. Who would so, you like to gain the bonus of True Strike? I mean, I see Luna right in front of me. Okay. I, I don't know if I can see Enoch because of the wall. Or you can would I? not. Okay. So Ooh. I only see Luna. So I probably am just pointing at the skeleton and just being like, ah, so I see you all fighting a, uh... so it also like snaps and points as like the, the way she casts the spell as if like she's trying to recall something in her brain. Um, but yeah, no, tell me those uh, defenses, my, my guy. Defenses, okay. Or like, it tells me, it tells me the magic grants you a brief insight into the target's defenses and on the next turn, whoever I've told this to gets the advantage on yes. their attack roll. Okay. Uh, you know that uh, this skeleton is weak to bludgeoning damage, so any bludgeoning will deal double damage. Cool. And so yes. she just says, bunch it! <laughs> yes, Luna, on your turn, you will have advantage on your first, uh, let's see, your first attack roll against that skeleton. Nice. 
Thank you, Renee. You're welcome now, punch it! All right, Luna, your turn. I guess that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm dropping a sword and I'm trying to punch this bitch. All right, show me an unarmed <laughs> strike. I think that's a strength roll, yeah? Yeah, yeah, well, strength I have a macro attack. for it. Cool. Shit get through? I got nice. a 20 to customize that later. <laughs> yes! Let's, see. Uh, Let's see if you crit. Let's see if you crit. Uh, oh, oh, right, right, right. I forgot. Okay, we'll oh, take the 20 crit. That's fine. Uh, my bludgeon gets a flat, th my unarmed strike does a flat three damage, but I guess since it's weak, so that's six. Oh, you just get a flat amount? Yeah, because it's it's to your strength modifier, I believe. Damn. That's what D&D &D Beyond says. Uh, I am willing to <laughs> believe D&D Beyond, so yes, that deals a six damage. Just, poof, you crack several bones and it's about to fall apart. Uh -huh. I'm going to send my echo over to Enoch because my echo, I believe, can take the help action. The skeleton will get an attack of opportunity, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, I just want to make sure real quick before yes. I uh, go send in this thing off because this is my first time bringing the echo out. Uh, and the echo um, has the same AC as you, yeah? Yep. So, yeah, no, yeah, attacks gotcha. against, uh, attack, uh, melee attacks rather, against the skeleton now have a plus two to hit. Yep. Uh, and that is my turn. Nathaniel, you have warded off the gelatinous cube. What do you do? All right. Uh, all right, with the gelatinous cube gone, I am going to quickly move over here. That's three steps. That's uh, uh, 25 because I had to... Actually, the step on is not difficult terrain, so that is 20. Mm -hmm. And then this would be 30 because yep. I'm stepping Carefully. in difficult terrain. Mm. Uh, looking around, let's see. Who can I see? I can see... I can... I can halfway see Enoch, but I can't see what he's fighting, so he seems fine. <laughs> uh, but I see this monster here. Undead. Just had its fucking skull ne cracked. Undead. Necromancy. Hmm. I raise my hand, and I point it at this skeleton. Whether your own or someone else's, a mind still controls you. And I will suss it out. And I pull back, and I am going to cast Vicious Mockery. Did not mean to roll it twice. That's okay. We'll take the first oh, one. Oh, shit. Yay! Okay. DC 14. Yeah. Oh, that's that's enough. The, the skull of this skeleton just crushes and kind of fumbles in. And the skeleton falls to the ground. <laughs> Thanks for Enoch. that. Are you all right? <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so well, he is over there. I guess that's oh, good. I guess that means we're answer. all accounted for. <laughs> uh, I end my turn. I have nothing else I would like to do. All right. Word. Next is the skeleton warrior. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> uh, the skeleton I warrior. I that's going to make me laugh. Is going to <laughs> take its sword and pierce into itself, and it starts to rattle and shake, and it's going to explode. Oh, the sword, the sword and its ribs, which it pierced with it, starts to glow briefly and... Oh, no. You knock, oh, hit the deck! I need you to make a con save, and uh, I guess, do echo. echoes need to make saving throws? Yeah, but they make it with my modifier. All right, both of, both of you Wait, make a con save. But I will say, if this is not a, a save and, and take no damage, the echo's gone. It only has one hit point. <laughs> yes, that is, that is right. It is a con. All right. Pah! Hit the deck! Wait! There we go. Oh, there we hey. go. Hey! Luna, oh, hit the deck! Your, your echo is just fine. And Enoch, you're able to hold your ground as it le lets out an explosive, noxious gas that although the force of the impact is not much to push you, uh, the, just the stench of it almost makes you gag. But Enoch, you're fine. You take one poison damage. Oof. And it explodes. <laughs> You're right there. That smells of something fierce. <gasps> Are we all okay? I think so. At the commotion, start... you you oh, see howdy, that took y'all long enough. The rats kind of skitter <laughs> away, just in panic. There it. Are we I heard a bad much... feeling about those rats. Are we... are we out of initiative? You are, yes. Yeah. Okay. There is much to worry about. Huh. 
Gelatinous cubes infest the sewers. The necromancers are using a child in a ritual somewhere inside of these catacombs. And as you have just experienced, some of their experiments have already begun to move. Oh, well. I, like, look at my, my shadow. All right, let's find them then. I stare at the shadow for a moment. <laughs> a, a strange trick. Uh, if you look down, you'll notice that it's connected to my shadow. No matter which way the light moves, wherever that thing moves, my shadow stretches to it. I take oh, a step so cool. to the side. <laughs> <laughs> it's not right. We need to, we need to find out where exactly later. we're going. We need to find this thing quickly. There are children at stake, and the ritual is going to get more powerful. Uh, and let's go. I, I didn't see any tracks, but you two seem to be more, per- more perceptive than I am. This is the perfect time to use one of my feet. Yes! Oh. Yay! See it. You know what? Yeah, listen. I have a spell that is uh, inherent uh, with my person because of the, subgl- or the race that I have decided on. Uh, find traps! Ah! Hey. Uh, you set the presence of any trap oh. within ring that is within line of sight. And let's see. And it's not a spell slot either because of my. Holy shit. Yeah. Nice. So there is there is one down there. Okay. Uh, no, that's not a trap. I... You you see a lock oh. over there. Oh! Let me see. Okay. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay out. I'm going to draw the traps. Okay. <laughs> I have marked all the traps in the area oh. that you would see from where you are or like kind of generally would know. So glad I didn't go north because I almost did. Oh, you almost ate it. Uh, Well done. Okay. How do you proceed? Um, she basically just says, out of everything so far, it looks like this path has something that is fairly large. Um, we probably highly encourage people not to go that way. Unless the large trap was meant to keep people from getting somewhere. Exactly what my thought was. So. I have an idea. Yes? I need fire. I need fire? Why like do you fire, need- like, a, like, like a torchish fire, you know? Do you not have fire? any tinder boxes or anything in your equipment? Oh, I do. I do. Oh. <laughs> I'm just trying not to use mine. I pull out one of my torches and I start lighting it just ch- 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 yep you're able to light <laughs> it mind filling us in on what y'all doing oh I have a great idea I'm gonna toss one of the torches over at one of the pile of bones the one uh, to I'm the northeast of you or northwest rather this one yeah okay I'm gonna toss it on top of that set of bones you can give me a dexterity check because you are throwing something in a very specific area. It's essentially a ranged attack. <laughs> you throw Never it. Never mind. You throw it and it lands just short of the skeleton into the gloopy water, which lights a flame. <laughs> mm. uh, the the water right. is flammable. Yep. For the oh, third time well, today. Oh, go- good news. Good news, I made a scientific discovery that this water is in fact flammable. Yeah, that's one Second of time winter. today, I raise my eyebrows. <laughs> you know, you know that, that's wonderful. I'm glad you made that discovery, but does that help us find the kid? No. Is it cooking the, the skeleton next to that water? Well, because please. If the skeleton could feel, it would feel very hot right now. Can <laughs> I perhaps roll survival to find tracks that, like, the the most walked paths. You may. Fingers crossed. I believe in you. It's not that good, but I died. (laughs) It's better than my check. You did your best. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see any tracks aside from the ones in this kind of thick, thick, viscous water that you guys have made. That was Um, mostly You do, in fact, see footsteps in this um, this little water over here. Of course course. we do. (laughs) So of course it's the one with the big old trap. If I had to take a guess, I would say it is this way. But as you said, this, there is something in the way. Well, there's a way that we can set off a trap without, you know, getting ourselves hurt. And I just kind of gesture to the shadow man following me. Will it not hurt you? Um, no, that's not how this works. Despite uh-huh. what my HP may say, 
uh, on our tokens. <laughs> it's not supposed to do that. <laughs> We'll figure that out later. Yeah, don't pay attention to the hit points on this thing. This thing only has one pay hit point. Pay no attention! So, <laughs> it's either there or it's not. I think this is a much easier way of dealing with this. I'm gonna walk up to that other, to the flaming goo. By the <laughs> way, does this flaming goo, like, at all dissipate over time? Like, it oh, shrinks? Oh, yeah, over like, time. Like, uh, after a little while, but, like, you guys, it's only been, like, a few seconds after you toss the, the torch. You know, I'm gonna light another torch with the current fire going on. <laughs> yeah, you're able to light the torch handily. The skeleton does not arise because you are not close enough. But yes, all right, you're able then to I'm the gonna torch. walk over here, and I'm gonna toss that torch on top of that grate. All right, that grate. You toss yes. the torch. Uh, no roll required. And that grate fires out a bright beam of arcane energy upwards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, wow, that. look at that. Oh, another scientific discovery. You, uh... <sighs> right. You gotta know where all the plans are. If you don't know what they do, you gotta poke it with the stick. I wish that I didn't agree with him, but he's right. I'm, oh, all right. I'm making sure. the active sure. effort to assure our safety so that way we know what we're getting ourselves into. In any case, have... we are... We, we, this is a time-sensitive yeah. mission. I'm moving forward, uh, and I am oh, going God, to... Oh, What? Uh, I, I no, mean, I, I, like... I know that's there. Uh, I... I think I have an idea. Oh, yeah. shit. Uh, I don't like... Uh, I don't like, like torch confidence. on top of it. I as like, I walk... this level there was not what I wanted. As I walk forward, I am going to uh, reach into my coat, and I'm going to toss a dagger into the muck. All right. You toss the dagger into the muck. And it quivers a little bit. You have just stabbed a gelatinous cube. Fantastic! Oh, can I do? Cube. Can I do something really quickly that will end this? It does. It just, does not. Just... It does not arise. But you can see that it's a, a lot thicker, and it has like it's it's holding not a, a magical illusion, but you know, like an optical illusion to make itself look flatter than it is. Fantastic! Mm. I'm going to solve this very quickly. I'm going to cast. Uh, sleep at second level. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna walk over it. <laughs> yeah, show me the sleep. Oh yeah, that's, that's enough. Oh, yep. beauty. That's easily yep. enough. As soon as I see that it is in fact alive, I wave my hand, and then I will walk over it, and I will pick up my knife, and I continue on. You right. put the goo, the, the, the Jello cube to sleep. I, can't. I put the, the water to sleep. <laughs> I put the water to sleep. Ah, oh, there's, there's that thingy. There is a chest, but there's also a skeleton. All right. A what skeleton. Now notice the skeleton is trapped, but the chest is not. No, I take, it's not. I take a step back. I toss my knife at the chest. It, it, <laughs> it, the chest is not clapped. <laughs> it stabs into the chest's hard wood. And hangs Fantastic. There. I, all right, I'm going to try to open the chest. All right, you open right. the chest. Uh, hold on. Sorry. <gasps> Sorry, chat. <gasps> I yeah, forgot I about the bug so I, can, I can, They open! I can show, I can show chat. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, sorry, chat. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to work with two computers at once. Um, You're totally good. Yeah, so this is the chest that they found. Uh, they're not going by the skeleton. And then the chest opens. Er, whoops. Uh, yeah. So, um, and inside you find a Necromancer's starter learning book. <gasps> Some oh, burn it. Oh, going to love that. Burn it. Ooh, burn it. It's a spell book. Burn it. Yep, it is a no, spell burn book. It. it contains a few spells, and at any time you may look in to see what yeah, spells you know, are there. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't burn I... the. Maybe we shouldn't burn the. Maybe we shouldn't burn the evidence of what's going on down here. Let the authorities deal with it. I thumb through it. No, ah, 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 ah. In, inside. Don't. When you read through I it, I pull out my gun and I point it at Nathaniel. What the fuck? I can. I Do not don't even. I don't react to you. Books. I've already. I, I'm already doing it. All right. Do you, not open. You oh, open geez, and okay, you Renee read is through. Renee immediately between you two. You, you see the uh, the instructions on casting false life, sapping sting, mm -hmm. inflict wounds, mm -hmm. and blindness deafness. And it gives a few rundowns of the research done by Kara Miharian. A few <gasps> field, name few Kara field Mi notes and stuff. Does the name Kara Miharian mean anything to, to you all? That's the Wasn't name that of the, the name black veined veined queen. Yeah, that's the queen. <laughs> Making sure. I'm right. going to blow that book out of his hand. Whoa, whoa, no, Are you going no, to what? shoot at me? 
Renee's been like stepping ever since she put the gun the out. Book. She. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Player, player okay, consent. Davi, does he shoot at the book? He is allowed to do whatever he would like to my character. Okay. All right. Enoch. I, I, I just want to say when I saw the gun. <laughs> I, I just want to say when the, I saw the gun get drawn, my shadow also moved to uh, stand next to Renee uh, to help cover Nathaniel. Yeah, let's let's sort Davi, of go I'm step by step and see what you. happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's no, go Davi, step by step and see what happens. Yeah. Okay. And I, I'm telling you, put the damn book down. Are you out of your mind? Do you know I, who you're shooting at? I know who I'm shooting at. I'm shooting at the goddamn book. It is dangerous magic. I will. And you are very much breaking a law right now. And as you can be very aware, the kind of person I am. Put it down. So Nathaniel's not going to look at Enoch because I'm busy looking at the book, but I will close the book and like, rise as I bring up, as I like nudge up my glasses. I, I am the authority. This is evidence of necromancy. I am breaking no laws. I'm going to turn it in so that I, or so that this, as I take a step forward, mission may be documented as well as possible so that we okay, are not implicated in it. Of course we wouldn't be implicated into it, but my point is is that you're looking into it. Listen here. Yes, we would be implemented into it, because if you don't remember, we aren't supposed to be telling anyone what we're doing here. Now lower your gun before I take your hand off. I raise the blade a little closer towards Luna. Put the book down. Put it away. Put it down. Why do you not want this to be turned in? I think he has personal reason to distrust necromancy. We that all have reasonable. personal reason that... to distrust me- necromancy. I, I understand. This is going to the proper authorities. I am not going to be using this myself, but now I do know what our enemy is equipped with. And I remind you, there is a child, at least one, that is in danger. We can settle this later and I'm going to slide the book into my coat. My eyes do not train off of that book. Lower your weapon now. You hear the pin fall back and I put the gun down. (sighs) I continue walking. I don't look at Enoch. Uh, I will relay the spells like from the book to the group so that they know to be like wary of them. Could I get a, a list yeah, of them? Yeah, yeah, just sorry. a reminder. Here, I'll write it Perfect. down. Perfect. Uh, yeah, please do. You all right? Of course I am. I have you here. And I continue. <laughs> she smiles. <laughs> Keeps going. <laughs> My face betrays no emotion. <laughs> she can't help but smile. All right. Uh, Where do you guys go now? This seems like a way to go. Yep. Let's go. And, and I'm not just saying that because I am intensely curious about this metagaming thing. Listen, I probably would have told no, no, you about no, the door. Yeah, you you would have seen that there yeah, was a very clear the lock yeah. over here that's oh. sticking out. Before, okay. bef- oh, before if I can, I'm so sorry. I just... Yeah. Sure. Totally. I want to... Um, as you guys are walking and I see Enoch walking down, I want to grab his arm Ooh. for a minute. I shove her off. Spicy. Now, hey, listen to me. Completely I, ignoring. I, <sighs> what? <laughs> All right. Where are you going? Where are you going, Enoch? <laughs> I have a quandary oh, back no. the other direction that I'm going to inspect on. Okay, well, in the Try meantime, and... uh, before you do Try that... Not. Uh, Try not to get yourself yeah. killed, please. Yeah. Nathaniel and Renee, you wanted to go inspect this lock that you can see. Sure. Yes, you can see that there's a rat that kind of backs into the corner and hisses at you, and you can see behind the lock, there is a grate. <gasps> and behind the grate, there is a stairway. Oh, I think we just found the next level. Everyone, I think that I have found the entrance to their ritual room. Well, I think Enoch's gone the other direction. If you would like to accompany him, you may. I'm going to stay here and work on this lock. 
Do you know how to pick a lock? If do you have the tools? Uh, I should actually. As you approach, I... the rat just skitters and tries to snake between your legs. Um, hold on, wait. I want to try to catch it. Can I try and catch uh, it? You most certainly yes. can. Uh, yes. Yes. He's our new pet. Either a <laughs> no. A I just want to see. I want to see it. Athletics or acrobatics. It is the size cool. of a medium-sized dog. It's named. Oh, oh my god! Oh, it's a giant it's rat. It's an R O U S. It's a Dark Souls it's rat. Jesus Christ! Yeah, it's like a Dark Souls oh, rat. It's an R O U S. Marshall is Marshall is evil now. <laughs> he has a gun. You you grab it and it screeches. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if there's anything unusual about it. Uh, you can While I have see, it in my arms, just <laughs> just looking it over, it's very easy to see. This thing has probably got at least 20 diseases. <laughs> oh, let's go! <laughs> oh God! It, I, why? It continues why? to skitter. <laughs> just away. He's the giant rat that makes all she of the rules. She looks over back at Luna and just says, "We saw another rat down a different path, and it was an experiment. Oh, I, right. I wanted oh. to be sure it wasn't undead." I, context, she just like shakes. That context would have been lovely beforehand. Um, Apologies, it slipped my mind. Honestly, it's, it's all just, right. It's all right. We've got a lot uh, going on. Nathaniel, do you know how to pick a lock? Because if you don't, I do. I do. I need the proper tools for it. I'll give him my thief's tools. Okay. Uh, I'm going to to pull off my gloves for a moment and neatly fold them into my pocket as I get to work on this lock. Okie dokie. As I get to work on this lock, I'm going to say to Renee, <laughs> you're going to have to forgive us. We work together very oh. often. We work together very often, and as such, we tend not to say things. They are, they go unspoken because we trust each other. I will endeavor to speak more to you. Be, and be helpful. I'll also try not to run off on my own. I realize that that probably wasn't the smartest decision of mine. I that assume is, that you are powerful enough to keep track of yourself. I, Three. I ran after you because there was knowledge you didn't have. Three yetis I took down. So yes, I'm plenty strong, but uh, admittedly, magic isn't really my my strong suit. I just hate necromancers. That seems to be the running theme. And with that, yeah, this lock open. is child's play. Whoever made this must have thought Holy they were shit. real clever, <laughs> and that you would have to go find the key. But no, this is this is amateur shit. You unlock it, ka-ching, it falls to the amateur ground hour. with a thud. Boom. I take I take the lock. It's mine now. All right, you <laughs> nice. may add uh, amateur lock to your inventory. Amateur lock. And you can see uh, when you guys go in here. Now this thing will be revealed. Uh, you can see this right here is a forty foot drop. Oh, oh God. Let's give Enoch some time to Yes, meanwhile, I was yeah. just, yeah, 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 meanwhile. good. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, Enoch, where are you going? I am, I'm going to take a look over here in this specific area. Uh, in there, okay. You can see, yeah. once again, the same thing that the other saw, this uh, rat whose ribs have been opened up from the inside. And uh, also passing this path, you can see... Inside, there's a bunch of bones and a chest. Uh, let me just move so the chat can see. There we go. In there, you oh. see a load of bones, a drain in the center, and a chest at the very, very back. I ain't gonna bother that. I wanna see what's up over here. Okay, when you look up over there, let me just give me a moment. You, you might as well have just I've just put a sign here that says, not a trap. <laughs> <laughs> totally yeah. not a trap. Totally not a trap. So as you <laughs> approach over there, a long hallway leading to the same end that your party members can see as well. However, you also see a different drop about 20 feet down in a pit. And in that pit, you see a bunch of skeletons and another dead <sighs> rat. Do you I approach? get as close as I can. I do approach, however, do a flip. I'm gonna use Radiant Soul. <laughs> How high up is the ceiling? Uh, the ceiling is about, I'd say, maybe 10 feet up. It's pretty low. They, yeah, they can't get to me. So, th since they can't see it, I burst with copper golden light and two mechanical like wings sprout from my back mm. and I just float over the pit 
Ooh. And I make it to the other side as safe Fucking as possible. What? Oh! Holy shit. Nice. Well, that's great. And well, that before I, oh, fuck, before I was muted. Before Holy God, what did even, you do? <laughs> he flew! Bef before I even around the corner, letting that light shed, I bring it back in, look normal again, and I'm going to try and approach this chest. All right. Yes, you may. And you guys see Enoch approach his chest from the other side. How in? Did you have fun over there? Howdy. Okay, how in? How in on earth did you? you well, were, we don't know what's over there because we haven't gone over there. No, 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 no. Um, she's uh, she's like she saw him go down south in a direction. So oh. she's like, how? You you went you went towards the left. How did you? Oh. God. Instead of wondering how, why don't you start working on that lock while I work on this? I am already doing that. Before you do, <laughs> and, in the meantime, oh, while you're working oh, on the lock, and Enoch, while you're looking oh, at this chest, you hear some clacking, clattering happening to the south as the skeletons, <laughs> seeing you fly over them, start to pile up <laughs> onto each other and This climb. is fine. This is fine. But I'm going to need <laughs> it, you hilarious. guys to roll initiative. Oh okay. no, now I have to roll under pressure. <laughs> I'm gonna say yes and make a dex save. Oh what? shit. Oh no. My initiative is five. We didn't uh -oh. learn from our last Ren adventure, guys. Renee and I only go together. Uh, Enoch, you oh, boy. open it up and a row of teeth appear and snap back. at your hand. Oh, God <laughs> damn it. This is why we throw daggers at chests. Oh. This and is why we don't play nice as kids. It takes, it takes a chunk out of your hand, and you take oh. uh, three piercing damage. If you get bit by a mimic, <laughs> turn into a mimic. Oh no! You little motherfucker! Wait, what? Oh, no. Please tell me you're just joking. I'm gonna. I am lying. I am going to That'd fill be awful. this thing with fucking lead. Uh, Enoch, your turn is up first. Trying to keep my distance. I will take. I will have that thing make it a, an opportunity attack. Okay. Uh, However, gonna... I am going to just try and back up a bit. It bites you in the ass as you turn and <laughs> run. It, it kind of makes it, uh, my, a cut. Like, I don't ever face away from it. I'm just. Yeah. Oh, so you're sure. letting it fa bite your, your forwards, yep. not your backside. Yeah. Well, it tears ah. it tears into your trousers a bit, and you take Just a tip. four piercing damage. <laughs> so you're going to shoot at the mimic chest? Yep. Unfortunately, an eight is not All enough. Right. It fires wide, pings against the wall, and a little bit of sparks come out. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, my well, God. Action surge. Oh, action surge. Action surge. Right. Action yep. surge. Mm -hmm. action, gonna, surge. action surge. I'm gonna fire again. Real. Oh god. Your gun. So as. <laughs> oh my god. No. As it <laughs> fires, you guys hear a. And I go. Oh no. I am going to expend my feature, and I am going to use my reaction to try and fix it. Well, no, I have to roll to fix oh, it. It has to, to be roll. higher okay, than yeah, it's fire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My bad. It has to be roll. Sorry, I'm not, than I'm not fire, familiar with firearms so. in this game. Plus two for proficiency, which is a ten, what? which it fixes. All right, Fuck nice. magic. What? Enoch's face is our new trap finder. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm down. <laughs> I see that the cylinder is slightly misaligned, and I just jimmy it back to place with a few tools, and it's God. right to fire again. Uh, that being my reaction, I'm gonna bonus action, second wind. <laughs> okay, dokie. Oh Use an How everything. How injured are you? Everything. Uh, so. My god. Oh my god. Why Come is, on, man. Why am I rolling it was such It's shite. because you were mean to the dice earlier. Yeah. Yep. You didn't, praise, you didn't praise the dice gods. Are you are moving any further? Do you want to get killed by a by a chest or by some skelly boys? <laughs> I'm just gonna death by box or bone. It's your pick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my let's god, see, this is since crazy. It's, I'm still within a minute, so I'm just gonna let the wings bamf out and just start. <laughs> Flying over, and I'm all like grabbing onto the bars. Give me out! 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 Next, it's the mimic's turn. 
The mimic. Please tell me Just that's a mimic. drop. <laughs> Please tell me that's a drop. It's a drop. It's a 40 foot drop, but I'm not going down. I wonder if the mimic has wings. The mimic <laughs> is going to run. Please tell me the mimic does not have wings. No, the mimic is not moving carefully, so it runs. And it's fine. It runs and it slips. Oh no! <laughs> it falls down. Please tell me it falls down the hole. It goes Please. and falls down the hole, but tries no. to nip at you on the way down. Okay. And it just catches your leg, and you take another two damage. And it oh, falls. No. And you can see when it falls, it's when you assume that it's going to hit the ground, it passes through the ground. And you hear it <laughs> echoing further and further and further and further and further. Oh, it's a lot oh, deeper. Really right, 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 right. Oh, no. You don't even hear when it hits the ground. I got like 30 seconds. Come on. <laughs> I look up at Enoch and I look down at the, at the lock. I steal my resolve, and I make peace with the fact that the only way that I am going to get this done without the pressure rising in my stomach is if I just don't care if Enoch lives or dies. <laughs> so I don't care if Enoch lives or dies as I start to pick this lock. I like I I, I I don't take my gloves off, but I just start going to work at it, completely Casual. calm. There isn't a person that's about to die in front of me, and even if there was, I did not care. <laughs> All right, show me that lock picking. I can't decide whether you should live or die. Oh my god, this is the second nat 20 on your oh fucking god, thieves yeah, tool. You, you pick the lock. Yes. You pick the lock as casually as if you were locked outside of your house and it's in the middle of the day and you're not in any rush. Mm -hmm. You boop, ka -chunk. Very similar mechanism. Lock. You find another amateur lock and the, uh, the grates are e now open. I take a step back. All right. All right. Renee, is there anything you would like to do on your turn? Looks over at Enoch's wings. I feel like that's something that's going to be discussed later. <laughs> yes? No, we will not be discussing them at all. Mm. And I kick open the door. <laughs> she just has a very like... <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Initiative oh. is still going. She has a very oh, disappointed okay. pout, uh, pout, but she will um, look down here and probably give a nod to Nathaniel and start sneaking down. Taking a little bit of a look. Taking a little look-see. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Going down, you can hear whispers, which we will look at some other. We will we will listen to after this is over. Ooh, fun. I'm good. Next yeah, are so the skeletons turn. In. And they start the to climb above each other like a pile, oh like, in, like in World War Z or whatever. Oh, Just like piling on no, top of no, each other, no, no. climbing, climbing, Trey. climbing. And six of them make their way up Whoa. and are able to uh, move about this much inwards. Oh, I hate that. Heading towards Enoch, bearing swords, <laughs> clacking. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> no, it's that, you know that that like horror movie sound that's just happening? That's just ringing in his head. <laughs> 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 All right, Luna, your turn. I just, I, I see this happening and I'm staring at your wings and I just kind of, I, I saunter over, grab your collar and I'd like to pull you over the threshold. <laughs> <laughs> Opens the door, just climbs down. <laughs> yep. Uh, if you allow this to happen, Enoch, then uh, Luna, you can place him where you wish. Uh, she's just going to put him right here um because she doesn't know about the threat that's over there she can't see there but uh, she is going to say to you enoch and she has a very serious look on her face i would really like to have a discussion with you nope not about what you think it is i'd like to have a discussion nope. with you you're going to have a discussion with me whether you like it or not and i, uh, I start dissipate taking... the wings <laughs> that's not what i'm talking about that i don't care uh, and I'm going to, uh, I'll use like the last 10 feet of my movement to start making my way towards this. I don't know what's going on over here, so I'm just gonna act like nothing's there. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. so it's I, not like my yeah. eye, my eyes have not gone off on that direction. Uh, I, I don't know what's there. I, I have Meanwhile, a 10 in perception, you dude. Nothing. Nothing you know what's there. coming. What do you do on your turn? Oh yeah, I definitely know what's coming. Uh, I'm gonna stay here, hold my action. If anything tries to jump across, it's getting shot. 
Anyth yeah. If anything, just tries to jump across? Yeah. Okay. Nathaniel, your turn. What in the world are you looking at? And I'm going to walk right here. Yep. And you can see can I... very, very, no like, subtly a kind of shadows of things approaching. Lots of shadows. What and are they? clacking. Very familiar clacking. Skeletons. How many? <laughs> I look at Enoch. How many? <laughs> a lot. Like, functionably a small battalion a lot. I look down at your, like, at, at, like around your waist, all of your equipment. You have a torch. Oh, yeah, of course I do. Pull out Would a torch. Mind? Would you mind? And I'm going to, like, reach over and, like, take the torch from your person, if that's all right. I nearly pull it away from him. Well, I, I'm asking if that's, like, I'm not doing it, like, yeah. grabbingly. I'm, like... No, like, I'm, I before I, I hand it off to you, I pull it away for a second. I pause because I'm waiting for the... For the reason why, you know why? I have absolutely no idea why. I, re I extend a hand. Oh my God, Enoch, really? Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm going to instead turn, close the gate, and pull out one of my locks. All right. <laughs> and then leave. You lock the gate. <laughs> you know, fun. I toss the torch down. Oh, if that gate wasn't locked, I'd be throwing you down the pit. <laughs> I'm going to say with that, initiative will be over because by that, by the time uh, it would come back to the skeletons, they would see that it's locked and they just sit there uh, clattering, shaking, just Angie. like staring Angie. across the pit at Enoch. Angie skellies. <laughs> Angie skellies. Angie skellies. All right. All right. <laughs> Enoch, come on. God's sake. All right. And so, Renee, you are the first one to head down the yep, stairs. Yep. And let me reveal. Because I was assuming that everyone was going to be just chilling and coming behind me. You arrive over here. <laughs> you may place your token uh, right here. Oh, delightful. Wait, where am I? Wait, let me zoom out so I can see. Oh, it. Lord. Where? Okay, that's a thing. Ah, I see. Ah, Wait, I'm what? in danger. I, I Wait, oh. what? Ah, oh. I see. Uh, you oh, should I be able to. If you know. look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so Go Renee. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he's there now. You see very cool. a ritual happening, and uh, they no one takes notice of you because you're a little bit Good. further up. So, in this room, you see s several humanoids dressed in uniform robes and wearing masks fashioned out of bones. You recognize the marks on their chests and backs. It's the same ones that the people, uh, the two men above were wearing. These are members of the Spine of Death. Fuck. In the center of the room lies a dead ogre. The color of its skin is almost completely drained and not a hint of fat on him, just totally gone. You can easily count his ribs from afar. And a few feet beside him, you can see a young elvish girl in a small cramped cage. Oh, uh, she's huddled no. and barely any mo room to move or adjust for comfort. Her skin and clothes are covered in dirt and filth of the sewers. She's crying and there's a long cut down her right calf and blood is pooling beneath her. Oh. Ah. And, and the, no. the blood is slowly approaching the ogre's body as if it had a mind of its own. You can hear the necromancers are chanting something low. And you can see a man fitting the description that the, the human and the tiefling told you above, wearing a skull, a strange skull, decorated with rubies. Shit, what was his name? Bloodstride. 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 Sorry. Thank I'm going to type that into the chat if that's, that's all right. Yep, yep. yep. Thank you. I will be your resident note taker. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Renee. You're very <laughs> welcome. So yes, Renee, hey. how do you act? Oh, for the love of I'm gonna give you. I'm going to give you uh, a thing uh, that you can do before First things first, I am going to fucking hide. Yep, you may roll I'm me a stealth check. I'm gonna try to anyway. They haven't noticed you immediately yet, but you may. Okay, still... so can I like? Yeah, I want to. I want to hide. Let's say hide, with hide, advantage, because they're not looking for you. Okay, that's the. Ch it's just how the dice rolls, but that's okay. I will take it. Where do you move? What do you do? <laughs> There's too many of them down here for for one little Barty to take. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, the strunk is coming. Don't worry. 
Um, she coming. What kind of stuff is he wearing? He seems to be wearing similar robes, although a different color from everybody else. Everybody is wearing okay. green. He is wearing violet, and his robes okay. are covered and littered with various different pieces that look like plated armor, but they're made of bones. Damn it! <laughs> Why do they have to be bones? <laughs> you just Damn really want to heat metal somewhere. Yeah, you want to heat that right? metal. In a former <laughs> life, in a former life, I remember a very particular ranger that used bones for their arrows. Hey, 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 hey! This is a totally different scenario. That character was cool. Anyway. I miss those characters. Right. Okay. Uh, so maybe. Okay, but <laughs> um, I'm yeah. just gonna go ahead and do my best to hide, like. It's probably not going to work, but I don't know that yet, so... Hide, 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 hide! Okay, uh... It's not gonna work, but hide! So you go and hide behind that pipe. The rest of the party arrives soon after you. You may put your tokens into the room, and you all see the same. Oh, I like to say I'm going to dismiss my shadow. Here, and then I'll step up. Um, given everyone's attitude, I am going to take off my hat, put it under my jacket, and pull the hood over, and I'm going to try and stealth. Okay. Everybody who wishes to stealth, you may. Uh, maybe you... I... <laughs> I, 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 I was about to say, maybe I don't want to stealth, but... Yeah. I don't, you know, I don't want to stealth at all. No, actually. <laughs> Stealth is cursed. Uh, I want to just go up, up to this fucker. Oh. Stealth is cursed. Right. So, so I'm, yeah, go on. Right. Let, let, uh, sorry. Uh, am I allowed to just describe how I come down or what I do? Because go ahead. You, you, you have, you seem to have an idea, and I'd rather you do. Well, I was gonna first. say you are allowed since you guys are not stealthing. You are allowed to do one thing before encounter nice. starts. Okay. Oh, nice. So. Oh, okay. I, upon seeing this big room, am going to smile at the man and at the ritual. I'm going to pull out the Book of Necromancy. <gasps> and I'm going to open it to no particular page. Just open it so that it looks official. Uh, and I am going to say out loud, Bloodstride! Your work here is very impressive. He takes notice of you, but doesn't turn his head. That he he seems to maintain his pose while everybody else is chanting. Yes, yes, are you the new recruits? Not not as such. And I'll take just one more step forward. I didn't think so. You weren't wearing your official robes. I am what you may call a liaison from Kara Miharian. I am, I am here to investigate and oversee the work uh, that you are doing here. Ensure that it is going smoothly, because right now things are bubbling over and too many people are taking too much notice. I hear that Belkinus is already sending people your way, and I wanted to ensure that there was no problem. As it seems, most of your workers are working. You have the child. You have the sacrifice. I, however, am a bit confused. I was under the impression that something more impressive than a simple resurrection would be taking place. Not to say that your resurrection wasn't, only that I wanted to see more. As of now, I believe I should take control of this sect, of this cell. I think that with my overseeing, much more could get done in a much more simple matter. This I'm seems like something that would require a deception check, don't you think? Oh, under normal, oh under normal circumstances, I w okay, I will still roll deception if you would like. But that is not my goal here. Right. I'm going you to are... slam my, like I'm going to close my book, like to to pronounce the end of that, mm -hmm. and I would like to use one of my abilities. Go ahead, oh, show me shit. that ability first, because <laughs> if if you were planning on using that ability, enthralling, oh, I cast, enthralling performance. I cast enthralling performance. I would like yes. to target uh, these four workers, these four like like cult members, mm -hmm. 
Yes. And I would like all of them to make a wisdom save or be charmed by me. They will become infatuated with me and they will uh, impede anybody that tries to stop me. They will hinder oh. anyone who opposes me. But they will not like automatically fight unless they were already inclined to, which is where the deception would come in. Right. So you will still <gasps> need to roll deception to deceive That's fine. Bloodstride. That's fine. However, let me roll for them. <laughs> oh my god, eh. yes! Oh my god, yes! almost a natural 20. <laughs> almost. Oh my god. No! Oh, oh, I love him! I love Wait, this banana man! Aaron almost. is happy, but Enoch is about to bl- burst the fucking vessel. Oh my god, go banana man! <laughs> Onward! Go banana man! Um... I have an idea of what he's doing. I've, I've seen him do this a lot before. Yeah. Uh, I am not going to hide anymore. Just walk up right next to him. I wanted to ask if the one thing I did could be to start dashing, but, you know. Yeah, we'll see. I apologize for taking up all of your no, turns. I'm so this sorry. This is Nathaniel's one thing that he's doing, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. This is the one thing. Go. Oh, my God, banana man. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I fucking love this. I love this. This is very <laughs> clever. <laughs> Okay, so you succeed on this orc, this tiefling, <gasps> and this halfling, the dragonborn, Holy which crap, is a three out of four. which is a bronze dragonborn, by the way. Uh, these these right. tokens, they're generic race tokens, just to show what they uh-huh. are. I see. Uh, this is a bronze dragonborn. Uh, she is unaffected. This is an elf. Uh, this is a half elf, so you can see. I, I know you're not targeting right, them, right. but I'm informing what the tokens mean. Mm-hmm. This this black and yellow that is a half elf, so you know half, half human, half elf. Ah, I see. You say this, Bloodstride turns to you, and his smile goes away. Kara sent you, <laughs> and she knows what she we're doing. You're not as secretive as you would like to be. And as I say that, like, this entire time I've had a, a non-expressive face, but as I say that, I'm going to look annoyed as if this has inconvenienced me somehow. <laughs> All right. With, with that, um, what is everybody else doing? Your one thing that you're doing. Uh, I just wanted to use my movement in dash to start running at Bloodstride. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but because um, I thought I thought that like we were entering combat, but now I'm rethinking this because it looks like he's believing this. So um, I'm gonna come up behind Nathaniel, like I'm his muscle, like I'm his nice. entire muscle, and just cross my arms and lean back a little bit. You can see just... confusion cross Bloodstride's face. I am still unsure of why you are not in your proper uniforms. That's too why? easy to be seen. Yeah, something about dressing up for the part makes it very easy to recognize you. Very well. But this is my task, and I will speak with Kara myself. As Nathaniel moves, will I be able to move up behind him? Just like I'm keeping up the act? I'm gonna go wide. (laughs) I'm gonna look down into the pit. Minions, move yourself from this place. We have. I am going to speak with your leader now. Uh, yes, of course. The the charmed minions step away, and you see more surprise on Bloodstride's ah! face. What? You know of this? I have not heard of this man. Maybe you're not as high up the ladder as you might think you are. They all just like step aside, mm-hmm. and you can see that the conjuring stops. And the rest of the necromancers are confused as well. Does the pool of blood stop moving? No, it has continued to move, and it is now oh. rising up and, like, slowly mm-hmm. kind of bordering around the outline of the ogre, the outline of the ogre's body, kind of like those crime scene drawings. Renee, Renee will kind of, like, step out and... Um, to give, like, a bow to Nathaniel, like, really playing the shit up, um, uh, and just say... Would you like me to see what they have decided to collect for this? Because, to be perfectly honest, mm. she kind of like looks at the girl with a bit of disdain. 
She doesn't look like she's. As if it's enough. like not. She's just not. She's just like it's rather small. You can see the girl shaking as she looks at you when you make that comment. And tears are running down her cheeks. Handle the child, I'll say to Renee, and I'll look back at Luna. The man has been instrumental. Uh, the man has done good work, as misguided as, as misguided as it would seem. Give him his reward. Well, uh, sure. And I will start striding my happy little way down. Tell me to stop whenever. <laughs> uh, you may keep going. You can see that his head turns to you like an owl and does not stop until you reach that third pipe and he holds up a hand. Now you stop right there. And he smiles. Kara didn't send you. And he has figured it out. And Fuck. Everyone roll for initiative. All right. All right. Thank you for oh, putting yes. me in a good position. Oh, yes. that's a good spot. Good spot. Oh. Good spot. Oh, that was so good. God I will roll. It. I can roll good in everything but initiative. <laughs> Enoch, you are up first. What do you do? Shot at this guy. That guy? All right. Yeah. You fire your pistol. And as that would hit, immediately this half-elf casts shield. Ping. Ah. Huh. Casting things. Well, we're gonna have to fix that. Yeah, we are. All right. Anything else you would like to do? I'm gonna do no nothing else. That's that's all I got for right now. <laughs> all right. Next is the spine of death's turn. Uh, this person's shield will dissipate, and uh, blood stride will uh, simply walk up to the lead orc conjurer and pat him on the shoulder and give him a little smile. <sighs> I was hoping we could proceed with the ritual without any annoyances today. Oh well, you lot take care of them, and return to the ritual when you're finished. I've got business to attend to in the meantime. And the orc uh, doing the primary conjuring flinches a little bit at the comment. Uh, but Master Bloodstride, blessing of the fallen be upon my pupils. Remember, the Black Vein Queen is watching. And a portal appears behind him. He steps in. No, God damn it! And he vanishes. God yes. damn it, I was going for him. All right, I guess his buddy will have to do. The orc grunts and cries out, get them. And uh, these two will simply start to run outwards to try and get you while the orc continues to conjure. And this dragonborn is going to get over here and it's going to use its lightning breath. Oh. In a beam. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh. No! Oh no! Oh, no! oh, no. So you two both need to make doo -doo 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 -doo. deck saves. I'm sure you're okay. good at those. I'm, yeah, don't say that. I'm not jinxing anything. <laughs> No, that's you what you jinxed, just did. You jinxed, you just did. You jinxed him. Uh, you jinxed him. And you two take eight lightning damage as a beam oh! zaps through oh, you. squishy! <laughs> but I'm so squishy! As this dragonborn zaps oh, no. a bunch of lightning out of its mouth. And uh, these How guys aren't points? doing anything, because uh, <laughs> they are charmed. Uh-huh. Nathaniel, your turn. I am going to reach out, and I am going to pull this... Dragonborn's memories, its thoughts, all of its insecurities to the forefront of its mind, I'm going to overload it with its own anxieties as I cast Tasha's hideous laughter. Oh my god. Oh no! I don't want him to laugh. I just want him to scream. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Why have I never thought about this with Tasha's? Nathaniel is oh, so good. <laughs> Fuck! You you pull out all its insecurities, its fears, its thing, all these memories, bad memories, and it flinches for a moment, but shakes its head violently. It makes the save. <gasps> oh! Wonderful. Oh no! <laughs> well, I look irritated because it chose to succeed against me, and instead I'm going to like point my thumb and forefinger at Renee. I trust you. 
And I give Bardic Inspiration to Renee. Nice. Inspiration's back, baby! And, how, and then I'm going to move right here. What's up? Hide, hide oh, I was just, just going to make a joke. Like, how dare you not just fail? Yep. <laughs> you succeeded. Well, that's not what I wanted at all. That's not right. That's not, Next. That's not all right. Luna. Oh, uh, well, I know you want some people alive, but um, that doesn't mean all of them, right? So I'm just going to go over here. That's 30 feet. Uh, I have a couple things I'm going to do. This is going to be a process, so bear with me. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to burst into a pillar of light <laughs> as I activate my radiant consumption. <laughs> oh, hey. So... Put, put that in put that in the chat. So uh radi uh both of these fuckers are gonna take radiant damage from me because they are within ten feet of me. Alright, how hey! much? Uh three. There are two. I take three. Two. Okay. Let there be um, two! So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the two I do as this overwhelming glowing light just erupts in a pillar. Um it looks like it's going to burn her skin. It is so intense. It's pouring out of her eyes and mouth. Her hair is shining. Um, that took my action, though. But it's a really cool thing. I'm a fighter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but it looks fucking <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, so uh, first, we're going to bonus action. Bring back uh, Shadow Boy. Hello. <laughs> nice. Uh, and uh, we're going to do a couple things. I'm going to action surge to get my action back. It's always just dawned on me that we have two ASMR fighters. We have two ASMR fighters and two bards. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so action surge to give me my action back, and uh, we're going to unleash incarnation once more, and I'm going to take an attack against each of these people. Nice. One's from me, one from the Echo. Uh, this time I'm going to attack this guy with retribution, and the Echo is going with absolution, and I'm adding the radiant damage on top of it. They take three additional radiant damage for every uh, melee attack I make. That's 21 to hit to four this dude. Mm -hmm. And uh, absolution, let's go. That's an eight. Oh. Oh. Well, not oh. enough. Okay, the first Damn. one. You move in sync. Show me retribution. That is nine uh, plus three radiant damage. Oh, oh. Nice. Oh. We take a big Dirty. swipe at this elf and the light singes into their robes and their chest. Ugh. They grasp into uh, their chest where you just sl slice them. They're on the ropes. Uh, this half elf though is just fine. Dodges out of the way of your echo. Mhm. Mm and that is, that is my turn for now. But um, I've already taken it off. Uh, but everything within ten feet of me, I, I believe, takes this damage. Uh, additional damage. Yep. This elf is is clutching and breathing heavily. Yeah, that's my turn. And Renee, you are inspired. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, okay, I am inspired. I thought you were going to fight three of those goblins all on your own. <laughs> but then I realized you got your own back. Like, just having you st like, stood next to both of them. Like, oh, it's two on one? No, it's two on two. It's two on two, baby. <laughs> Badass. I love it. Anyway, so um, Renee actually is going to pull out her dagger. And she is going to take a swipe at... Um, at the dragonborn? The dragonborn, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And there's a you reason for this. You, I do have inspiration, so thank you for that. You. Welcome. I don't think it, it'll help me, but a 12? It's hot. It's hot like a Unfortunately, a 12 is not high enough. Damn it. It, it is able to parry your blow. Ah. Bonus action, uh, bardic inspiration, Enoch. Just be like, well, <laughs> time to see how you do in a group. Just... All right. Uh, after Renee, as you turn to inspire me, you see the gears on the eyes turning. Ah, OK. I am going to two, three, four, five, six, right about there. And I'm going to take a shot at this dude. Okie dokie. Nice. That's enough. 15. Holy right. shit. Fire, it pierces yeah. through. Ha! And the elf Just... falls over dead. Nice. And because I killed it, I get a grit point back. Oh, oh nice. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so I I now have one of my grits back. Nope, that's it. That's all I can do. Okie dokie. Next is the spine of death's turn. The orc is nearly completing 
his ritual. Lifts oh both his hands in the air. Rise! Rise! And the ogre's body starts to twitch. Oh no! Oh. We might want to get rid of the guy casting the spell! Uh, <laughs> I'm on it! Oh god! I will I handle this! So far. <laughs> this this half elf, noticing that he is now outnumbered, is going to disengage and move close to the no! orc. That's a smart oh, idea. Yes, please. That is a smart that's idea. A, that's a smart idea. I think that that's you. a good idea. Yeah, good idea. And this dragonborn is gonna take a swipe at you, Renee, uh-huh. with his sword. Oh God! Or their sword, I guess. I can't decide on their gender. Ah! Oh yeah, that that beats you pretty easy. Listen, take, just hit me. <laughs> you take five slashing damage. Did he just hit you again? I am, oh, yeah, he just hit me again. Oh, dirty. You take five slashing damage oh, as this sword. Oh. You you try to hold off the blows, but it's fatiguing you. Each Ooh. swipe is heavier than the last. Oh, uh, I'm not what's, looking what's, good. What is this drop? What would this drop be? Uh, that <laughs> drop is 20 feet down. Uh, you can see okay. the little the little measurements up here that I put. Understood. Next, Nathaniel, your turn. Ah, uh, there are a couple things that I need to do. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. It's fine. Renee, the child. Don't... I know. I'm going to, like, thinking fast. I'm going to look at this guy over here. Let me make sure I've got my range right. I'm going to look over at, at the goblin orc? Orc. Uh, orc. It is an orc, yes. Hi, you. He's trying to concentrate as best he can, but he does hear you. You can hear, you can see his ear like flicker a little bit. I hiss into the air for a moment. Your battle is lost. Join us. Kill the dragonborn to prove your allegiance to me. And I cast suggestion on him. Oh, shit. Man. Wisdom saving throw. Okay. So it, so it acts on its turn, right? Yes, it will. And I would really prefer it if he failed. Give me like, a Christmas present. Please, just like. <laughs> well, I guess Christmas Favorable came early because he fails. <laughs> eat shit. Yes, eat shit, motherfucker. And he is now following your suggestion to the best of his Yay! ability. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Renee, did you use your bardic? Uh, yeah, I used my bardic. I'm going to throw my last one at you because it looks like you need it. Oh, I love you! <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, that's, that's my turn. <laughs> the bards have been inspiring each other. Luna, your turn. Ah! <laughs> All right, well, I'm not going to step on uh, Gainsby's toes here. I'm going to let him continue to control this boy. But there's another problematic one here. Well, so first, Echo, yeah, the Echo can be there and it won't dissipate. The Echo is going to move to about here. And then I'm going to move right here. Oh, oh, oh dirty, <laughs> dirty. <laughs> I can't unleash my incarnation anymore, but I can bap the shit out of this thing. All right, show me the baps. <laughs> I will, I will. Oh my God, God. Jojo uh, meme. Just oh, like um, fucking uh, drinking tea and then turns around and starts stomping this dude out. No, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to do this from the Echo side and I'm going to have take, um, take stood that far away because I don't want the damage from my radiant consumption to knock him out of his suggestion. Right. So, so uh, Shadow Man's going to take a bap. Okay. A bam. And he fails. Yeah, he does. He most certainly <laughs> oh. does. <sighs> well, then I'm going to bonus action second win because I think I'm going to need it. Mm, all right. Uh, so that's a 1d10. Get your so. heels. Yeah, let me get my heels. Oh, 1d10. Uh, plus, it's plus what? Fighter level? Yeah, plus three. Can you tell, can you tell I've never played a fighter? Five. <laughs> it's fun, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm very much All enjoying right. this. All right, Renee, your turn. I'm going to trust Nathaniel in this moment. I'm going to focus on breaking the kid out of the um, the cage. Okay. Uh, no real, real role required. There's a mechanism just like oh. on the outside that can easily open it but uh, she has not done so out of fear, of course. Being okay. Surrounded. And uh, you can grab her, and she will share your movement. Cool. Um, then I am good, because that wasn't an action, I'm going to disengage from this motherfucker. Okay. 
um, yep. and start pulling this kid away with me because, uh, fuck, no. And also, just as a note, I am protecting this child, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will say and, that any attacks on her will go to you. Is that okay? Uh, it will be after I use uh, another spell slot if my bonus action uh, healing word on myself. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I will roll that. Please heal right. yourself, Renee. I'm healing You're myself. I got three points. <laughs> <laughs> plus, plus your uh, plus your mod. Plus my mod, which is. Charisma mod, right? Yeah, I got six points back. I had six points back. Nice. Yay! Which is actually really good. Yeah, I'm down. I'll help you survive. Yep, hopefully you'll so help me live. I, no, I feel listen. terrible because I could have gotten you out of this situation so easily. Next turn. Listen, next turn. don't even worry about it. I am getting out myself. You're trust, you trusted me enough to get out of this situation myself. I got where, you. So where are you moving? I am pulling her up the stairs. So okay, that's, come with me. Yep. One, two, three. I can get here. Okay. So. Enoch. Your turn. All right. I'm going to see the, the little motherfucker that was causing both me and Renee problems earlier. And I'm going to use a winging shot. And this will be my attack. So mm, <laughs> that nice, is going nice. to be a 20. I don't think I'll need the bardic inspiration for that. Okay. And who are you targeting? The, the half elf? No, I am targeting this Dragonborn, the and Dragonborn. also Dragonborn needs to make a strength saving throw. Ooh, or else what? So this is a winging shot. You can make a firearm attack against a creature. You can expend one grit point, which I actually just got back because I rolled 20. Uh, <laughs> uh, on a hit, the creature takes damage and must make a strength saving throw of 12 or be knocked prone. And considering that this is a necromancer and very much a wizard, I highly doubt it will make it. You better knock on some wood for that one. Mm. Yeah, don't jinx yourself. Don't yeah, jinx right? yourself. Dice, dice How would you say like something that? like oh that? Be courteous to the dice gods. <laughs> DC 12, you said. <laughs> yep. All right. DC 12. Seems like you did jinx yourself because it makes the save just fine. What did we say? Renee. What? Renee. However, <laughs> however, you do fire and, and graze, kind of like puncture <gasps> into this dragonborn. A bit. Oh God! And they are—they <laughs> stumble back at this, and they—they—they right. uh, they, they growl a bit at you, and you can see crackling lightning in their teeth. Oh no! Please oh, no! I, not, that's again. Going. not again! Not <laughs> again! Anything else you would like to do? <laughs> there, there's nothing else I can do. You can move. Uh, yeah, like actually, get out of the lightning range. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's as far as I can go from here. Next is a spine of death. Oh God, for the love of Pete, please come at me, bitches! Oh God, I'm the just only one run. of those bitches is uh. <laughs> so, uh, this half elf is gonna try and shove your echo. Yeah, it's trying to shove your echo off of the the. Well, drop. it yep. makes a strength save with do my it. DC. So. It's it pulling a Looney Tunes. Uh, like, it, it wouldn't be a strength oh, save. It would be or a athletics or acrobatics. Yeah. yeah, yeah, correct. That's correct. Con up to you, which one? Uh, I know which one. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh the my half god. Shoves your echo down, and with its one hit point, it. Pfft. Oh, it disappeared already because that took it out of its range. Oh, oh no. Oh, really? funny. It, it disappears before it hits the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just in a, a, a swath Damn. of feathers. You just. It's gone. And the orc completes its conjuring and orders. This now up an undead ogre <gasps> to attack. Wait, what? The the dragonborn. I thought it was. Yeah! Oh gonna attack God. the dragonborn. It's attacking the rise, dragonborn. Rise, rise <laughs> and smite my foes. So I guess I'm not jumping on the orcs back then. Okay. No. Okay. No. Am I committing an act of necromancy oh. if I am controlling the necromancer but not doing it myself? I don't know. I think. I think. I don't you're just playing their game. Oh, the orc, God. The, you see the ogre's eyes are white and it moves as if it's being puppeteering <laughs> by something above as its movements are unnatural and not based in the laws of physics. It <laughs> rises up from the ground, chest up, and goes to smack the dragonborn. 
Oh, please, for the love of God. Death to the dragonborn. Death to the dragonborn. <laughs> Death to the dragonborn. And it crushes it. You hear yes! a oh my, god. oh, my god. Oh, oh, I'm glad Renee wasn't there. And yeah. uh, these, these three have left the building. They're long gone. Uh, yeah, get the perfect. fuck out. Yep. Get the fuck out. Next, Nathaniel, your turn. I breathe a sigh of relief because the thing that was attacking Renee is gone. It's done. <laughs> We're out of here. I'm going to call out. Orc, if you if you are left unconscious, will the creature not uh, will, will the creature be destroyed or will it rampage? You can hear like kind of almost through telepathically through the orc's mind that the ritual is not totally complete yet, and oh. the, so the ogre will may return to its dormant state if if it is cut off soon. Right. I have an idea. Thank you. Go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> no, this, yeah. this, this half elf cannot be slept because oh, it's shit. a half elf. Oh, right, yeah, right, right, it's right. a half elf, yeah, yeah it's an orc. Yep. However, the orc does go to sleep. Yay! <laughs> I love it! When he does, the ogre f- falls and crumbles, not crumbles, but stumbles to the floor <laughs> loud thud and it goes back to being a corpse my plan is now immune <laughs> I love sleep <laughs> ah, it's such a good spell I am then going to do what I should have done and all like th- this whole time 30 feet oh. away 55 feet away 35 feet away I'm going to reach my hands up oh. stretch out all of the fingers yeah as as lines of hot, bright pink shoot out and connect with the heads of Renee, Enoch, and Luna. Excuse me? What are you doing? I know exactly what you're doing, and I'm so here for it because yes. you're And I use Mantle yes, of Inspiration. You can use. You all gain five temporary hit points and can immediately yes. use your reaction to move Woo. up to 30 feet, up to your speed. Without, with, without, without provoking, without provoking attack. opportunity attacks. Yep. Yes! Yes! Yep. I you love it. Like we can move. Now? Right now. Yes, yep. Holy you use shit. your reaction, okay. but you will move Thank right you. now. Thank yep. you. Thank you for putting me exactly where I wanted to be, because I just want to so, be right yeah. here. Yep. <laughs> also remember your, uh, your five temporary yep. HP as uh, I reach into your minds and will your bodies to move beyond what they normally can. Oh, right. Nathaniel, me and you are going to be good friends. <laughs> <laughs> Renee just is like... Got a got a beaming smile ear to ear. She's like, "This is this is all too familiar. Like I've been pulled out of so many bad scrapes. Thank once, God." <laughs> once the spell is complete, I break the connection, and that is my turn. Oh. All right. Yep, the orc's Love connection it. is gone. He's asleep. Luna, all that's left is this half elf. Hey. uh... So I realized that I can bring my echo out as many times as I want. I just can't unleash its incarnation more than my uh, a certain amount of times. Oh. So uh, my sh- it's a bonus action to do. That's why. Oh. It, it, it eats your bonus action. Okay. Um, right. Well then. Uh, my shadow, my okay. shadow is going to extend. <laughs> Again, right there for a nice little flankety flank. Yep. Get that so flank. After after the half elf pushes down the echo. He just laughs. <laughs> Take that, and another one appears. Oh. Didn't think it'd be that <laughs> easy, would you? And uh, I would actually like to take a shove action against this fucker to push him down. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna push him down that way. <laughs> yeah. Show me athletics. <laughs> yeah. All right, come on, dice, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being cocky before. Just give me yes. Nice. I'll take 18. You push him down, and he falls. Oh, I hate adventure. Ah! <laughs> and he takes. Ooh, he takes ten bludgeoning damage. Ooh. Oh, he's nice. Up. Ooh, he's, he is um, dying. And there. Uh, I'm not doing prone. anything. I'm not doing anything, but I want to. Uh, well, actually, the orc is going to take damage. Because I oh radiant here yeah I am sorry don't worry don't worry don't worry I have a plan I have a plan I have a plan don't uh, worry don't worry don't worry he should be taking the radiant damage too by the way <gasps> oh then oh. he's dead <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, he cooked him alive okay. oh no he's fried yeah no um I'm assuming that if this guy's prone on the ground just for flavor's sake I just want to have my sword up to his neck 
when he wakes up from the burning pain. <laughs> All right. With that, I would like you to roll an intimidation. Let's see if he surrenders. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, you'd think I had mods and intimidation, oh. but I don't. Don't even worry see. about it. Listen, I have a plan. There's a plan in my brain. If you so wish, um, and this is this is a house rule that I like. If you so wish, you can add your strength modifier to it. Ooh. That's what some people do. Uh, like that just be a strong. plus. That be a plus two, so that's a nine. A nine. All right. Listen, muscles are menacing, dude. Well, you apparently hold up mine your sword aren't. up to the just straight at this orc, and uh, he bears his fangs at you. Huh. He's still Wrong choice. Oh. Okay. Don't worry, I got it. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. I'm casting it at second level because I can. Go okay. to sleep. Uh, he uh, will continue to take damage if I'm standing next to him. Well, you could always so move, you know. right? But the thing is, you can move, right? Yeah. So yeah. she's like, if you, I can't. yeah. She's like, you know I can with I that, because you guys slept him again, I'm gonna say you're out of initiative order and you can move Woo! before it does anything. Aww. Okay, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I yeah. wanted to shoot him. Well, you can well, shoot him now. Unfortunately, he's asleep. You uh, can shoot him while he's asleep. In the meantime, Renee, you're pulling along this uh, this Once, young yeah. half elf, and you get a closer she's... look at her. And from your guess, she's probably no older than ten summers. Oh, oh baby! So oh, as, she's as like soon a as like baby, oh my yeah, God. she's a little baby. baby. So as soon as like it's called all kind of calmed down a little bit, she kind of sees that like the danger is not immediate. She starts slowing down a little bit, and then like looks back at the little elf girl and she goes, "It's all right. You're all right. Just." Take a few deep breaths. We're here to help you, okay? Just... She's got tears running down her cheeks oh, and neck, sh- and she sh- buries sh- her know, face in your leg as she just kind of holds oh, you around. Renee will, go, <gasps> Renee will immediately like, go down and start hugging her like very close, just like patting the back of her hair. Like, shh, shh, shh. Can right, I start? Right. Um, I'm going to turn my consumption off, by the way, because um, I'm pretty sure it's out. I'd yeah, like yeah, to yeah. start making my way towards the kid while Enoch is going to dome this guy. Yeah. So I, um... Do it, Bien. Do it. <laughs> she's just like it's I, she's I, just, just like in it's hopes that n- <laughs> that even though people might be watching he is going to put the pistol in the back of the head and says one small prayer for your crimes against Belkinus you are hereby sentenced to death for the practice in raising of necromancy. Renee's gonna like hold the elf girl close just to like cover her ears too, because it's just yeah. like hearing that. It's like, mm-mm. Oh, she, no, yeah, you're not gonna do this in front of a ten year old. Yeah, and no, yeah, no, no he's, wa- he's waiting. He's waiting for you to turn her away. If not, also take her. Oh out no, of the she's room. making sure the elf is like buried in her, like yep. just like not looking at all. Looking at Nathaniel, dead eyed, pulls the trigger. You fire, the bullet goes through the skull of this orc. He dies instantly. The shot rings throughout the dungeon. You can still see the faint yellowish glow of the turning gears in his eyes. It's all right, it's all right. My face betrays no emotion. As I'm as I'm brushing off the the the, the soot from this beat bursting into a pillar of light, I wanna approach Renee and this poor little girl and just very gingerly touch the girl's shoulders and give her uh, my healing hands. Oh, Aww. yay! She gets three points of healing back uh, nice. as she feels this very warm, comforting feeling spread from her shoulder where I've touched her throughout her body. I drop out the empty shells, by the way, because that was actually the last <laughs> shot. <laughs> nice! You hear, hear a little timing. clinking onto the floor. Cling, 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 cling. And uh, yes, the wound on her her leg closes up and scars as you give her your healing hands. Easy now. It's going to be all right. We're going to get you out of here. It's going to be fine. What is your name? She sniffles. I'm Eliza. Renee Renee will like pick the girl up in her arms so she doesn't have to walk. No. Yeah. She's very familiar with it, so she just like will walk the child up and then like look over at Nathaniel and Enoch and just kind of sit there and look around and be like I don't think we have many people left for questioning and I don't know how many of your little friends decided to untie their friends outside 
They probably don't know that their friends are injured. They may be waiting up the stairs. But I do see something here. Is While this you walk a gate? by, uh, nope. yes, it is behind a gate. Uh, however, I'm walking by what? While you walk by, something catches your eye from with your passive perception. Something oh. shiny glistens from the wrist of the ogre, kind of catching your eye. Nathaniel, you see just like from from that little glistening, you can see that the ogre's got a bracelet that was shimmering a little light that sh- kind of bounced off of it from, you know, the, the dimly lit area. And you can see saw puller engraved on it. Renee. Yes? The ogre has something around its wrist. See with your eyes. And I'm going to continue. What walking. am I, dead me? Uh-huh. Um, at that, uh, Luna will offer to take the girl, Renee, if you want to go look at it. Big um, strong lady will keep she, child safe. She will hand the child over to Luna. As she's walking down, she is basically strutting as she looks up at you and says, You are not familiar with certain talents that we happen to possess. He is fairly good at certain talents, as I am. He knows what my talents are, so he is very familiar with giving me certain tasks. We don't know you well enough to understand what you're capable of just yet other than aiming something at someone and shooting. So can I kindly ask you to have a conversation afterwards so that when this does happen, we can ask you for the help that is required as she casts Detect Magic on the band. You detect no magic on that band. However, taking a closer look at it, you remember Sawpuller was the name of the friend of the very rude tiefling you met in Balkanus that he said went off to chase after the necromancers. (sighs) Merde. I grab the tag and I just pull it off of him. Because of course I'm you're the not, only one in the not, center of this pillar standing. No, no, it's on the ogre. It's, it's, it's on the ogre. The ogre. It's not on the ogre. Oh, that's why you went down. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. why I'm confused. Yeah. Okay. We were, I was confused too. Yeah, I'm just oh, like, really I'm like, yeah. What do you mean, Ina? I heard orc. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. We, I understand now. I'm like, okay. okay. Orc. Yeah. Okay. Right, so it's ogre. Yeah. It's the ogre. I have as like apologies. Yeah. No, it's the ogre that has the band. Like. Oh, well, and that's I was, she I'm down investigating of this over body. To you. Okay, good. I'm, trying, I'm taking whatever I can <laughs> off of this body because I'm good. a little curious do as that. to what this dude might have. All right. Uh, well, let's do Enoch it. first. Uh, Enoch, yeah, you go ahead. Yeah. You find on that body uh, a medium-sized health potion, which you never had a chance to use. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. A poison dagger he, and a mask of a cult member of the Spine of Death. Wow, those those always, or those all seem like they would have been really useful against anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> I So I'll, I'll take the dagger, I'll, I'm taking the, uh, uh, the, <laughs> uh, uh, what was it again? The dagger, the mask, the- Medium the health potion. potion. Okay, so I take the mask, and I'm going to bring it over to Nathaniel. In the meantime, oh no, yeah, okay. Actually, let's finish this first. Uh, as I like start to open this chest, if that's all right, Enoch will come over to me with the mask. I'll glance over and see it, and then I'll look up at Enoch. Yes, because I know you're so good at lying. This might be useful for you. I hand it to him, and I walk away. I'm going to look at this mask. Is there anything particularly special about it besides the fact that it's a cultist mask? You can roll me in Arcana, Religion, or History. All right, I will roll Arcana. Arcana, yep. Doesn't, this is not something magical. Um, you can probably tell that it's mostly symbolic more than mm-hmm. anything. Mm-hmm. I will stare at it for a moment stare at the mask. The mask stares back at me. <laughs> and I look at him. And he looks at me. Looks at me. me. And, and I look at him. <laughs> and then I will put the mask in my coat, I suppose. I'll just slide it in there, and then I'll start trifling through this guy's stuff. Okay. In there. You can see 
that there are more poison daggers, and you can see that there are common clothes, presumably, that they changed out of into their robes, mm-hmm. kind of all folded together. How many daggers? Three. All right, three poison dagger. Mine. Yep, yep. You find a level two spell scroll. <gasps> oh, of what? Ooh. It is a blank spell scroll, like it's special spell scroll oh. paper. Ooh. I could put something on it. You can you put can. whatever you want on it. Uh, I'm going to roll that up and slide it into my coat. Ooh. And that is all you find. Uh, is, is this like, is this caged or can this just, what, what are, what yeah, are the Yeah, so sorry, the sorry, I didn't describe it right. That is a caged uh, kind of like wall with a door handle like that you can just open. Okay, understood. Uh, I'll let other people do their things. While everybody's kind of moving around, I want to be kind of getting information from the girl who, where she, who she's, who she is, where she's from, where she was captured, what happened, where we might find her mother, so we can get her home. Just um, very gently. I'm being very, yes. like you know, ginger with the child. Yeah. <laughs> baby, she's a baby. She says her name. My, my name is Lysa. My mom lives by the woods with my brother. I was out playing, and that man with the scary face approached and took me. And I just want to go back. We're going to take you back. Don't worry. It's all over. All of this is all over. I need you to tell me. Can you... Once we get you upside, do you remember where where these woods were you lived in here? So I can get you home. She just ponders for a moment. Uh, I, I remember trees, how they look and their shape. Okay. If I Good. can recognize them. Good. Good. That's wonderful. And are, are you from Belkinus proper? Are you from outside of Belkinus? Or... She shakes her head a little bit. I live outside the walls. Okay, okay. Well, that narrows it down quite a bit. Do you know how far from the walls you live? She shakes her head. Okay. Well, we'll figure it out. Don't worry. This is all over, and we're going to get you out of here. We're going to get you home to your mummy and your brother. All right? She nods. And I just, like, uh, kind of adjust her a little bit in my arms. Uh, and as I'm waiting any for everybody, I just kind of start very softly humming a little tune. Just something to fill that space. Uh, like this very, uh, the, the silent space. And while they're all talking, just to give her some sort of comfort while we're waiting. Mm-hmm. Anything else anybody wants to do before you leave? Nope. No, I think nope. we're good. All right. And with that, I think we can call our first session of Balconist Necrohunt complete. <laughs> our first session was almost five hours, guys. So Whoa! fucking good. Oh God, I promise. So good. I promise crap. the future sessions Whoa! will not be nearly this long. No, <laughs> no, let them be this long. I'm glad so we went the fun. extra hour. Yeah, no, yes. I'm glad hour we went the extra hour. Dude. Hour and yeah, a half, dude. Yeah, we went on for a while. But that's so good for an intro. A good premiere. A good premiere. Yes. Oh, oh, I love, I love everyone so much already. Yeah. We have so much to so talk good. about. Oh, so yes. much so good awesome. stuff yes. to just evolve into. Tasty. Tasty.